This podcast is a part of the Royal Wee Network. Spit on me. Congratulations, us. Aww. Congratulations, you, for listening <laughs> to <Yeah>. us. <laughs> we did it. We made it to 200 episodes. By golly. Yep. I mean, who the heck would have thought? Yeah, it only took us a decade. <laughs> 10 years? Have we been doing this for 10 years? No. Close to it. Yeah. What, 14, 2014? So what? Yeah. We started in 2014, I want to say. I think so, yeah. 2014? Huh. I mean, what time flies, but now we're on 200 episodes, which funny because what, 2014 is seven years ago, mm -hmm. and we do one a week, <laughs> so really we should be on like 500 episodes, but... <laughs> yeah. This is what you get, This is what you guys got, all right? Yeah. This is about our speed. So, yeah, yeah. So what we're going to do in honor of the 200th episode is we're going to read every single I – mean, we've said this before, but we're actually going to do it this week. This is going to be an extra – buckle up, boys and girls. Mm -hmm. It's going to be a long one. We're going to read every single headline I have gathered. Uh, also interspersed with some funny stuff we found that aren't kind of headline specific. Uh, so that should be fun. Yep. And uh, – <laughs> I don't. I mean, I, I. I don't know what else to say other than this is 200. I'm Sam. I'm Nate. Welcome to another episode of the Royal Wheel. What we do is we take headlines, we read those headlines, but we do not read the articles because you know facts. They just get in the way. Yeah. We read the headlines and then we have a funny podcast comedy conversation about them. What could that be about? So today on today's episode, <laughs> what we're going to do to kind of break it up a little bit and also to turn our ACs on every 30 or so minutes, we're going to, uh, we're going to read all of the headlines we have gathered, but every 30 or 40 minutes, we're going to click one of them from the last 30 minutes of conversation. Yeah. So we should probably get a good three or four clicks in uh, by the end of this podcast. Yeah. And uh, I mean, that's gonna. I mean, that's what we're going to do today. And I hope you all enjoy it. Uh, it's it sounds like it's gonna be fun, but who knows? You know, maybe we're not. Maybe we're gonna get real serious and talk about the issues this episode. We do that every couple episodes. Yeah, this one, this one's gonna be. This episode's gonna be real political. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna talk about those fires in Canada. We're gonna talk yeah, about. This. We'll call this one critical critical grace theory. Yeah, <laughs> and we'll uh, we're gonna talk about how they set the Gulf of Mexico on fire. What the fuck? When I first yeah, saw I that, that didn't even look real. That looked like bad it CGI. It, 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 yeah, it looks like a kaiju is going to come out of it. Yeah, it did. It looked like something out of Pacific Rim. I was like, what? That's not real. And then I'm looking like, yeah, apparently it is. So I got this thing I've been meaning to talk about that doesn't really have a headline, but the, the, mm -hmm. I, I read about the article. I just read about it, and it's so strange and interesting. I thought, I've been meaning to talk about it for a couple of weeks now. So I said, we just start with that. Okay. So this guy, this Russian guy, he got uh, – well, I don't have – oh, it's not a link, but just the words. He got stuck on a on – a, on a, Chinese reality TV show. Okay. So he's like this, he's a 27 year old Russian guy who's like really handsome. He's like got that like, you know, Asians like that sort of girly boy look, like, mm -hmm. you know, like really smooth, sort of like young boys look like that, like teenage boys. Uh -huh. Well, he's a 27 year old man. He's still got that look. Okay. But he got onto this show, but he doesn't know how to dance. He doesn't know how to sing. He can speak <laughs> Chinese, uh -huh. fluently Chinese, and he's handsome. So yeah. people kept keeping him on the show. They keep voting for him, even though he didn't know how to sing and he couldn't get off the show. <laughs> and because of the contract he signed, he couldn't leave. He couldn't escape. What? So what he was trying to do is he would just be like really against everything. Like they'd ask him to dance and he'd like not really do it, like sarcastically do it and like uh -huh. sing really, really bad on purpose. But mm -hmm. the fans liked that even more. <laughs> So this poor guy got stuck on this show. This Russian guy speaking Chinese and like, and he kept saying like, "Please vote me off, please. I really don't want this." And the fans thought that was funny, so they kept voting him to stay. <laughs> That's funny. For the love of God, I don't speak Japanese. <laughs> yeah, it's like that. It's like that, <laughs> like Chris Farley sketch. But yeah. dude, it's unreal, dude. It's he's like, all these other guys are really trying, and he's like, "Please, like, just going through the motions with these dance moves, trying to learn." I'm like, "Oh my God, I." <laughs> Man, that's funny. He said, I hope the judges won't support me. While others get an A, I want to get an F as it stands for freedom. <laughs> stands for freedom. He goes, he goes, I don't want to be the member of a boy band. It's not my dream. I can't sing and I can't dance. <laughs> How did he end up on the show then? Did he just do it as a joke and get accepted or like how, what? That's a great question. He, 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 okay. So he was, he was on, he was in the, I think he was on the filming crew. He was part of the crew. Uh-huh. And someone just saw him and was like, put that handsome devil oh, up he's here. A, he's a real handsome dude. He, he, I mean, he is a real handsome dude. He, uh, -huh. uh the directors saw that. I know he could see, saw he could speak Chinese. So they're like, uh, hey man, you want to sign up? And he's like, oh, okay. So he signed up for it. And then quickly realized he made him a goddamn mistake. <laughs> 
he, he didn't like. He didn't want the attention. He wanted to leave. This sounds exactly uh, like that Chris Farley sketch. Like, except it's a you know a, a thing to be a boy band and not a game show. But it's like <laughs> where he got on is immediately like, oh no, <laughs> right? Exactly. Like I didn't know. He, I guess he didn't understand what he was getting into. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, yeah. Because it says here, you think he could just quit. But there's a catch. So if you quit the show without being voted out, you have to. Oh, he has to pay a bunch of money. Oh, that's what the contract stipulated. So he didn't want to have to pay that fine <laughs> for something he doesn't even want to do. Man, that's funny. So he kept saying, like, please, he goes, you don't love me. You'll get no results every time they kept voting for him. <laughs> please stop. Yeah, I know you think this is funny, but this is my life. <laughs> Yeah, I have a family in Russia. That's so funny, man. Just being trapped in reality TV. God, yeah. That's so funny being trapped in reality TV. Like, what could you possibly do, you know? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I don't know what else to say. I mean, this kind of reminds yeah. me. Did I ever tell you about this this Japanese reality show where they kidnapped this guy? No. This Dude, is like in the... the er, yeah, I mean, Japan's out of control. They got some wild game shows. I love that. What's that? The, the Aki? We used to watch oh, it all the time. Oh, oh. Taki, uh, I mean, we're gonna Aki Taki something. <laughs> Aki Taki something, yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, that, that, but that's, oh, that is Japanese. That's like, but that's like yeah. a crew of comedians who are, this, this show yeah. I'm talking about is like a, it's not really a prank. And and it's it's legal because the guy signed up for it, but he didn't know that he signed up for it. Does that mm-hmm. make sense? Oh, It was yeah. like this comedian, this up and coming comedian who just like signed up for a bunch of TV shows. And one of them allowed <laughs> them to come and kidnap him. <laughs> So they like, he was walking down the street one day and a van pulls up and just throws a bag over his head, throws him in the van, take all his clothes off and they dump him in an apartment with cameras oh my on God. Him. And his whole existence, he, he can't eat. He has no food. He has nothing. No clothes. No anything. It's just an empty apartment. And he has to all day enter sweepstakes. <laughs> and if he wins the sweepstakes, he can keep what he gets. Oh my God. But he starts getting things like he gets like a PlayStation, but he can't, he doesn't have any food. So he's like, oh, please. God, I would be so mad. <laughs> But I mean, I guess that's what you get. That's what you'd just be like, son of a bitch. You call that I for guess a that's what you get. But I mean, I, I, you would you would assume that by signing a strange contract, there's not you're not allowing people to to kidnap you and put you naked in an apartment. You'd never yeah. assume that's what one of the. <laughs> um, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I will now. If anyone ever says you want to sign up for random game shows in Japan, I'll be like, right, someone's going to yeah, read right, yeah. this. Because the, uh, what's like how they get away with some of those prank shows over there where they just like, people will go into like a public toilet, like going in there to take a shit and they'll just like launch them down a hill or something. Like the floor opens up and they just fall into like a water slide. Oh yeah. And they act like it's the most, the most hilarious thing ever. I mean, that would, <laughs> yeah. yeah, that'd be the worst. Can you imagine? Cause you probably just shat your pants. <laughs> What's funny though is like part of me is like I mean what's the big deal we all got you know we all got dicks like there's there's an element of it of like we're all taking ourselves too seriously in Japan sure I mean don't get me wrong Does that makes sense yeah I think it's really funny but and I'm sure I would think don't want it to happen to me yeah I wouldn't want it to happen to me and if it did I, to, to be honest I'd be mad for a minute but then I'd be like God that is pretty that is funny yeah let me see it let me let me, did you film it let me see it yeah but when it first happened I would be furious. <laughs> Oh yeah, are you the kind of guy that if you get started, you'll throw a punch? Yeah, because remember, I, yeah. yeah, I've almost, I've almost hit fucking people we've lived with before because we would accidentally scare each other. My first reaction is not, not throw my hands up. <laughs> <laughs> Mine is always to jump like a startled cat. Yeah. Uh, hey, you can, yeah, you can check that out on uh, our YouTube channel, the compilation of all the times I scared you when we lived together. <laughs> that's on the. That's on the. The, you should tweet it out. That's really yeah, funny. Yeah, it's on this, I think it's been up on the channel for on our YouTube. Let's break into some grease, man. Let's get in it. Um, so speaking of young men with who are handsome, uh, <laughs> this is in the medicine drawer. Young men, we're just going to go down the list, go. right? We're just going to keep yep. it nice and clean that way. Young man undergoes plastic surgery transformation after failing to find job because of his looks. How ugly is this poor bastard? Damn. Yeah. You've got to be, you've got to be, you've had to pull the unlucky card where people are like, woof, I'm not, we yeah. can't, we can't, where no one's hiring you and it's because you're so off-putting that you're like, we, I mean. And you know, like, it, it, he's so ugly that he knows it. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, he's not like, well, maybe it's because I didn't take that extra course and no, it's got to be because I'm ugly because it's next level. <laughs> I saw somebody tweet something there the other day that was something like it's like being like mid range ugly is the best. So because you know yeah. because you know that like people anyone who likes you is liking you for you, but there's still like a, enough people out there of like women who are like, Hey, like, I'm into this guy. Like I think he's hot. He's like, But you're ugly enough that you know that most people aren't liking you just for your looks. 
<laughs> oh, that, that's funny. Yeah, because you can never be sure. Uh, Here's an odd thing, man, because we moved to Asia. I mean, obviously, I'm white and I'm, you know, exotic here. But also, sure. people tell me all the time that I'm super handsome. Yeah. And it's like, you know, your, it just turned into like your grandma telling you you're handsome. I'm like, okay, okay. Yeah. Like, I just don't believe anyone now. Yeah. It's the same way. Like, I was, that's what I mean, because I would get people. I would always get the gay dudes at the salon. Every time I would go get my hair. <laughs> every time I would go and get my hair cut when I go up to pay. Like, there's these couple, like, gay dudes. And they'd be like, oh, so handsome. You're so handsome. I'm like, thanks, man. <laughs> Hey, thanks. I mean, I don't know where that's where we think this is going to go. But yeah, right. and I appreciate it. Actually, probably getting complimented by a gay man. I mean, that probably almost carries more weight than a woman in a way because it's like because gay, gay gay dudes like they put in some effort to look yeah, good. Yeah, and also gay dudes don't have to be worried about physical retribution. I mean, that's a, a very serious way to put it. But physical retribution. <laughs> <laughs> good lord. You know what I mean. <laughs> Physical retribution. Uh, well, yeah, that's a very that's a very clinical and physical and, and uh, Conan. What is good in life? <laughs> physical retribution. Uh, <clears throat> but yeah. you know what I mean, like if a woman just fucking comes on to you, you might be a fucking weirdo and then take it way too far. Mm-hmm. Whereas a gay guy has, you know, the I don't know. You, you no. know, it goes without saying what I'm saying. Yeah, I know what you I know what you're getting at. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad because I almost didn't. <laughs> but this guy can't even get a job, dude. So he gets plastic surgery can you specifically to find a job. You know how fucking, fucking fugly you, you got to look like to where you can't get a job in like a warehouse somewhere? What's that got to be like? I wonder like what kind of bad looks does he have? You know what I mean? Because like I'm thinking someone who's got like a like a burn victim or someone. Like oh. there's people who are so like medically sure. messed up. Okay. And I, don't, I don't like to be around them. I, was, you know? I wasn't like, I wasn't even thinking about that. But that could be. But yeah, if, if you're just because I'm trying to think of like the ugliest people I've ever seen and I'm, I mean if, if you ever wandered into something like as a fucking grown person that makes you go holy shit I never even seen that yeah but me and my buddy John and we still talk about it back before I moved here we were in like a steakhouse somewhere like waiting to like be seated and there was like a, all these people at the steakhouse and this guy came through and I'm not like I'm not fucking making fun of him like taking you know what I mean like but it was like I mean, it, I am. I'm a safe place <laughs> yeah but it's we're like, just recording this out and putting it out on the internet <laughs> exactly <laughs> it's like yeah what's the worst that can happen yeah I'm not running for president anyway I don't even think it would fucking matter anymore <laughs> but anyway <laughs> yeah. it was like this man was perfectly round he was like oh yeah about yeah. two and a half feet tall maybe three feet I don't even think he was three feet tall he was super little but perfectly round <laughs> and I it caught me off guard so much because it's like I just noticed this presence like way under my sight line and <laughs> I was like oh what and I looked down and saw this guy and he had these like cane things to help him like balance and walk because he was and I was like holy shit that dude and I, I remember looking at John just out of pure surprise because I'd never seen anything like it like I felt like a little kid I was like what is that like what what is that condition like what what's happened here <laughs> yeah well, and it was round. like yeah it was <laughs> completely round dude like like when that girl ate the fucking berry and Willy Wong like completely oh, round. Holy shit. And he was having all this trouble trying to walk because he was perfectly round. And he went by. But was he overweight? Was he overweight? I, it was a mix of like overweight and just something else going on. But like his back stuck out as far as his front. And he was so short that he was like a ball. What he was like hell? a ball. And I remember looking at, like, I looked at John and we were both just kind of like, holy shit, like just in surprise because we we're both like, what? Is, I've never seen anything like that. And then after he left, I was, I couldn't quit thinking about it. And I was like, man, I was like, <laughs> and you still are. Yeah, I still am. And I was like, dude, I was like, he was having such a time walking. I was like, he would get more, he would get around faster if he just rolled, like if he just rolled places. <laughs> And he's like, well, but he can't do it. You wouldn't be able to do that in public because people, you'd cause it even more show. Then he said, dude, I bet at his house, I bet when he's at home, he just rolls around his house. Like, he's not going through all that effort of walking with those sticks. Like, he's just rolling around. And we somehow nicknamed this guy Home Roller. And that is stuck. And we started <laughs> laughing about just the name Home Roller, not necessarily the dude. I couldn't eat my food. We were sitting there, and I was laughing so hard at this idea of a guy called Home Roller who just rolled around his house. But then when he went out, he was like, he was like, nah, I'm a Above that, I use these sticks. But then, like when he was at home, he's like, "Nah, fuck it, I ain't got it in me." I'm that just... sounds like a guy though. Like that guy has a disability that makes it hard to walk around. Like I think this young man is just ugly. Yeah, just ugly. Yeah, yeah. I was just I saying the, what, I, what I was getting at when that story popped in my head was that was something I'd never, I'd never seen before, never seen since. Oh right, right, right. right so, right, right, right. and I'm trying to think of ugly people that I've seen. 
that are just naturally ugly. And I've, well, I, you're right though. If he works at a warehouse, what the fuck's the difference? You've got to be so off-putting that the other people are like, man, I don't know about that guy. I mean, I've seen some people with like those disorders where they get like like hundreds of like moles or something all over their face, and they just oh yeah, they don't look, they look like they're a tree or something. Like they don't look like <laughs> yeah, <exactly. laughs> like like that. That's probably one of the the oddest things I've ever seen in real life. You're I mean, like, I well, you're like know, holy I mean, shit. Yeah, I want to know. I hope there's a picture of him if we click it. I mean, me too. Because when you see well, people, let's go into it. people who who go make them themselves look like remember seeing you do this picture the other day somebody sent it to me oh zach if he sent it to us were those guys that were like ultra into body modification like they tattoo their eyes black and like was it the guy who had his nose they cut his nose they, off? yeah they cut his nose off so you look yeah, i sent that I okay sent that, yeah okay i couldn't remember who cut the tip of his nose off so he looked like a fucking orc yeah he looked like an orc or a skeleton or something and like, they 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 tattooed their skin black all their yeah like, but it was like ink black, so it looked like blue. And I was like, holy shit. I was like, that's... I mean, I've always said that just getting like a face tattoo is a commitment. Because you're committing to... You're committing to a lifestyle. Which is fine. It's just totally like, I think tattoos are rad. But if you get a big fucking spider web on your face, you've got to... You know, they're probably not going to hire you, you gotta, like Macy's. You, you got to fight crime. You got to yeah. take pictures of yourself for the Daily Bugle. <laughs> you got to become a vigilante. Because that's what I was thinking, like that guy. I was like, what do those guys do? Because he literally looked like an orc from Lord of the Rings. Yeah. And that's the kind of, ju- like, if you look like that, I would imagine most places won't hire you. Sure. Because, I mean, but you've made the commitment to look like a goddamn monster. So, like, they must got- be, they must run shops where they genetic, where they, they body modify people. Yeah. If you've got to run, like, yeah, he's running, like, a, yeah, a body modification shop and, they do that stuff where they hook the meat of your back and they hang, which I've never understood and never liked. <laughs> yeah, doing that, doing that sort of thing. Which I mean, Ugh. I mean, I guess, man, if you could, if that's what you're into, man, you make a living doing it. That's pretty fucking rad. Yeah. I mean, but I mean, if that's your thing, if your thing is like, I want to look like a fucking alligator, like there's a guy that wants to look like an alligator. Yeah, but those are the kind of guys, man. When they die, no matter what happens to them, it's closed casket. <laughs> People are like, oh yeah, there—that was him. <laughs> and then would they have like, like the, the, the the picture of him as a young man beside the the casket, and it was oh, just yeah. like like, like a, just this monster and <laughs> just this fucking Franken creature in in the in the casket, and then there's like this little blonde haired boy, like right. Beside everybody like, whoa, what? <laughs> Let's do it. Let's bring it to another one. Brazilian Brazilian surgeon fired for dancing with patients removed skin fat on TikTok. What are you doing? Skin fat? You just fat? What skin fat? Just the skin. Oh, I, yeah. I don't know exactly, <laughs> but they. But like, who? What? I don't. We we come back to this every now and then. These chuckle fucky surgeons. Mm-hmm. You know, they're like, you hired them to surgery surgeon you, surgeon. <laughs> yeah. Get your surgeon, surgeon on. Huh? To cut you up. They, you know, yeah. do some surgery on you. <laughs> yeah. Surgery? And, and then they film themselves like going around on those hoverboards or they dancing on TikTok like the fuck? Yeah. Do a little bit more research. Yeah. The uh, You know, like if I ever get like a real big surgery, I'm going to ask him, hey, you guys have a TikTok? Because if not, I'm, let me find someone else. Yeah. Yeah. I want to know. I want to check out your TikTok and see what kind of crazy shit you're up to before you put me under. Cause the, yeah. It's like, what, what was the place where the guy got his leg cut off? And the the doctor used it as a pillow on on the patient. What? The patient was in the bed like for uh, doing something, and his pillow was his own leg. Well, I don't remember that. We yeah. talked about that. Yeah, we talked Yo, about oh it. Oh my god! Because and I found a picture of it, and it was insane. Because I remember sending it to you, and you were like, "I don't want to. That's that's. I don't want to see that." I probably said that. <laughs> that's so funny that like I said that, and then my brain was like, "Dump files, yeah. reprocessing." <laughs> yeah. <laughs> But yeah, it was something like whatever happened. It was in some sort of like uh, tragedy situation too. I don't know. That's a funny thing to say. Sure, <laughs> tragedy. Yeah. But I mean, like a big it was like something, physical retribution. Yeah, something happened. Like like a building collapsed, or it was something around something crazy. And there was all kinds of craziness going on. So if, I guess their excuse was like we didn't know what to do with the legs, so we just used. But they were like someone took a picture. Did they like, get in trouble? I mean, I don't know where it was. It was in like Baghdad or somewhere. And like, okay, yeah, I, I, I vaguely <laughs> remember this. Yeah, it was somewhere else. It's somewhere in like the Middle East. I'm wanting to say but yeah that someone snapped a picture of this guy who was like knocked out but his had his own leg as a pillow i was like what are you coming come on no pillow was fine <laughs> as opposed to like because you imagine coming to and realizing oh no i lost my leg and that's starting to sink in and then you like go oh, to move sure. and your own leg is your you're like what the, what that feels more like because i'm i'm interacting with my leg in a way that i didn't want that sounds like a weird thing to say, but like this guy, this Brazilian <laughs> surgeon was just dancing with my fat. Sure. Like, I don't know. I don't even know what that I means I guess it's either. that they put it up on YouTube or you did TikTok. Like, it's like, why are you filming? You should be doing surgery. What are you doing? Yeah. Like, you're a surgeon. I think you're probably making all right money. Why do you also need the TikTok fame? Why do you need those likes? 
You know? Yeah. So how, like, how, what's our, our need for dopamine? Like, how badly <laughs> yeah. do we goddamn need it? Yeah. And then there's all these ones that do it. Remember a, a while back, I got obsessed with this chiropractic guy in Houston. And he has his own YouTube channel where he, he patented this move called the ring dinger. Where he wraps a towel around somebody's neck and then just fucking jerks their head so hard that it cracks their whole spine out. The ring dinger. Fuck. And he has it patented. Remember, I remember to send him to you because I was like, this guy's voice. Because because what I'll do sometimes is I'll put it on YouTube and put it on something oh, super boring. Like like a fishing show or like something I would never watch. But it, it And it's just like boring and it, it just kind of puts me to sleep so but it was on like that and it went to this other video and i just hear this voice i was almost asleep i hear this voice go hey Aaron, you hear your chiropractor <laughs> and i was like what the fuck <laughs> what? and then i woke up wake there, up red alert yeah and i woke up and there's this dude he's probably i mean he's like let's say he's 60 ish in his 60s big stout looking texas man but he's voiced like this he sounded like uh truman capote <laughs> <laughs> oh, that, that's I was, I was thinking droopy dog, but yeah, droop, yep, droopy, like droopy, droopy dog, yeah. Because he's like, hey, I'm room. a chiropractor. Hey, <laughs> Houston chiropractor, doctor, whatever his name was. I'm gonna put you through a patented ring dinger. Only one in the Houston, Texas area allowed to do it. And I was like, what's Holy. the purpose of ring dinging someone? I mean, that's just gotta fucking crack the shit out of them. Is that good? It's good for you. What, what the fuck? And he always tells me, like, now you're gonna feel a little bit sore since as soon as you leave here, once you go down to the Seven Eleven and get you one of them big old cups, get you one of them big old slurps cups full of ice and then we'll give you a ziploc bag and you put that slurpy cup full of ice and you just put that on your lower back air and i said you i want you to ice it right away before you even get home because you're gonna feel a little sore for the next couple days i'm like what do you do because of he his patent- shit out of your neck and your lower back hurts that can't be good he wrapped i'm telling you i'll put a i'll put a video of it up <laughs> He, oh wra- my God. he wraps a towel around someone's neck. I'm like, normal chiropractic. I'm just like, and he's always like, listen, everybody say, don't try this at home. I'm a licensed professional. been doing this for 40 years. He said, don't you just grab grab your friend and start trying to ring ding him. He said, you can hurt him real bad. <laughs> I'm like, no shit, dude. <laughs> It's like, don't no, try to grab, don't grab your friend and try to ring ding him. Don't try to ring ding him. I was like, R- the ring ding. I make get your hands off me. Don't ring ding. I'm me. ring dinging you. No, don't ring ding me. He wraps it. That you lay on a table. He wraps a towel around your neck like he's gonna choke you to death. Like in, like you've just met your end in like a Russian spa. And he wraps it around your neck and then just goes, wham, and just puts his whole body in it and jerks your neck so hard that it it cracks your spine all the way down he's like now you should have felt that from your neck all the way down to your lower back and everybody's like yeah my ancestors felt it yeah <laughs> yeah yeah everybody does the same thing they go who yeah <laughs> now you should have felt that from your head all the way down to your lower back. It's like no shit he goes Wah. yeah no oh my god yeah it doesn't sound real it sounds like someone just cracked a bunch of celery in the and he's just in there and there's somebody filming it and they put it up on you and then at the end he's like so what was your experience having your first ring dinger here today and then people are like oh yeah it was pretty wild i feel good and he's like okay he's like everybody tune in next time and i'm like what's the point of this yeah of course like i was oh my god i was trying to go to sleep guess what i set up for like another two hours watching this dude's <laughs> videos i couldn't get them yeah of course and they still pop up in my feed and i'm like oh yeah i gotta i just want to hear his voice at the beginning like, hey, everybody, you keep camping. <laughs> and you think I'm let's, in- uh, let's Yeah, we should read one. I know. I, I, you've, you've sent it to me. You've sent it to yeah, me. Yeah, yeah. Uh, no, no. We, we've only done two headlines, man. Well, we're at 26 minutes. Well, let's do... I got, <laughs> look, I got one more. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I know. We're never going to get through this. But listen, I'm committed to getting through all of it. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's open up another drawer, and then maybe we can choose which one to uh, click. All right. Because this next one is going to be a contender. Okay. Mystery Beast... <laughs> Turns out to be... Oh, this is in the spookery slash monster slash... Okay, okay, okay. Mystery Beast turns out to be croissant. <laughs> what? Oof. I mean, were there shadows involved? There had to be. What way was there... What was how was a croissant mistaken for a beast? A mystery beast turned out to be a croissant. Yeah, like he was up in the up in the the, the pipes or like you know what I mean like what what could possibly have, have been happening? I do not know. It had to be a, a reflection pro- or like you know. It's had to be something because a croissant doesn't even even if it was a beast that was croissant sized. I mean, do you really need to worry about it? I don't know. It could be like a, a could face be, hugger, face face hugger. hugger, a critter, a critter. <laughs> Uh, uh, what's a mogwai? What the, what is that? What's that movie? No, oh, Gremlins. Gremlin could be a gremlin. Yeah, Gremlins a little Those bit. They're all roughly croissant sized. No, Grim, 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 Gremlins way bigger than a croissant. But mogwai isn't. No, mogwai's not. As long as you take care of that, <laughs> as long as you take care of that croissant and don't get it wet or feed it after midnight, it'll never turn into a do beast. You, do, do you think you would ever have said, nah, man, Gremlins way bigger than a croissant? <laughs> <laughs> Let's be serious for a second. <laughs> Gremlins are much bigger than croissants, Sam. How dare you? 
<laughs> You're right. You never know what, what words are going to come out of your mouth. Mystery beast. I love that phrase too. Mystery beast. So it, it was, it had been a beast long enough that people were wondering what it was. Right. Or it was reported. And it was somehow, or, that's what I'm thinking. Like, cause like maybe it was like, you know, a movie somewhere where like an image was being projected or a shadow was being projected. Like something that was like, what the hell is that? Yeah. Like a shadow is hit in a certain way and it's because of the crystal. A reflection on something. Right. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I'm yeah, thinking. Yeah. So. I mean, that's not much to talk about because we don't really know. But let's see. We got three pretty good ones. Well, I would say we have got two good ones to learn about. Mystery Beast turns out to be croissant because let's 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 uh, I mean, know, take a break here. To say. Yeah, that's a that's a high contingent. Brazilian surgeon. Ah, the dancing with the skin fat. I mean, they're just a chuckle fuck. Yeah, that seems pretty straightforward. I mean, it's it's Young crazy. Man. It's ridiculous. But the, the the ugly man and the croissant beast. But here's what I'm thinking. Ugly man is going to be an image, and this is a podcast. That's true. So I want to see what he looks like, and then I say we click the mystery beast. Okay. We'll see what he looks like, so and we can tweet it out or something, or put it up on Facebook. Oh, dude, he he's not that ugly. <laughs> he's like a normal-looking dude. Oh, shit. Here, I sent it to you on Discord. His plastic surgery makes him look like a K-pop. He looks like half a K-pop there, which sounds racist, but, I mean, he looks like a K-pop. He guy. looks like half a K-pop. What's that mean? Did you see the image? Look at Discord. I don't know. I can't figure it out. <laughs> To view this channel, I gotta put in my. It says it's a not safe for work channel, so I gotta put in my fucking birthday. This is our channel. Be careful, all right? This guy's that ugly. We gotta make sure you're old enough to be able to handle it, dude. He's a normal looking. He looks like a, just like a teenage guy. He's got like one of those teenager mustaches. He looks like he's Thai or something, maybe Vietnamese. Oh, he's not ugly. That's not no. No, he's like a normal looking dude. Yeah. His, his face is very symmetrical. Yeah, I would say he's uglier in the. He's way weirder looking. Yeah, now he doesn't look real. Yeah, that doesn't look like the same person. You would never guess that that that's that's that guy. I mean, they took a pound off that dude's nose. Dude, if you if you moved, somewhere, how'd they get his eyes closer together? Is what I'm trying to figure out, though. <laughs> How do you pull that yes. off? His, <laughs> How do you do that surgery? Because he's, he's kind of wall-eyed. He's kind of got eyes that are pretty, they're pretty spaced out to the, he's got those. Uh, I think it might be an illusion though, because they put so much more bridge in his nose. Yeah, that's true. I think it's got, he's, he's, I don't think the eyes moved. I think he's just got more bridge going on. Yeah. Nose bridge. Yeah. All right. Well, there's that. I mean, he's got Anna Taylor Joy eyes in that first one. <laughs> and the second one, the second one, he looks, he looks like something, somebody. He super doesn't look ugly though. I wouldn't look at that guy and go, whoa, mm -hmm. I'm never going to no. get you a job no, i wouldn't i'll be like come on nothing about that dude screams ugly to me like i wouldn't be he's yeah. not the front man of my band but i mean he's fine <laughs> yeah i mean he'd make a, he'd make a solid drummer <laughs> <laughs> all right let's let's read about this croissant and then let's take a break here yeah mystery tree beast well the word tree shows up now in the headline <sighs> okay there's a lot more to talk about now mystery mm -hmm. tree beast whoa turns out to be croissant okay when animal welfare blah, 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 blah. <laughs> when animal <laughs> welfare officers received a report of an unusual animal lurking in a tree in the polish city of krakow they were not sure what to expect to expect people aren't opening their windows because they're afraid it will go into their house, a woman reportedly said. What? But a visit to the area showed the creature in question was not a bird or even a reptile, but a croissant. What? It's just like a croissant stuck in a tree. And it it, it, it does look like, what the hell is that thing? But I don't understand why people are afraid of it. Is it <laughs> people weren't coming out of their house or going home. <laughs> There's no way it's a, a reptile because they're in Poland, which is cold as fuck. <laughs> That's like that. Yeah, it was just. It was just that someone threw it out of the out of their house to feed some birds. That's so funny. And it made headlines. It terrified. And it the, frightened. Yeah, like oh. <laughs> I mean, Poland has been. They've been through some shit. So I guess they're being a little <laughs> <laughs> being a little cautious. <laughs> We thought it was a tiny Nazi. Do you remember when when it was in Boston, I want to say, it was for Aqua Teen Hunger Force. They put those like light bright things up in like different parts of the city and everyone thought it was like a terrorist attack? Yes. People yep. lost their minds over those little like alien square dudes. Uh-huh. And they also had like adult swim and they got in so much trouble for it. <laughs> Well, I remember if the, the, there was a thing a while back, well, it's been several years ago, but this daycare called the police because they kept getting report. They kept noticing that somebody across the street, there was some man who was just standing in the window. Like, they just see the silhouette of a, a guy just staring at the daycare. And they're just, like, he's been doing it, like, all day for, like, the past couple days. And they're like, it was weirding them out. And they're like, yeah, it's just, there's like, this dude's just standing there staring while the police came and went and looked at it. It turned out it was just a life-size cutout of Arnold Schwarzenegger. <laughs> And someone had put up in their window as a joke. And people... <laughs> what the hell? People thought they thought it was some creep staring at the kids, and it was just a cutout of Swartzy. 
<laughs> God, I mean that must happen more than you think. You know, I mean we just don't hear about it. Uh huh. I mean because I used to have this like 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 seven foot tall suit of armor made of tin in my bedroom, <laughs> and it would scare me regularly. <laughs> yeah, I used to have a. I mean, the, I knew it was there. Yeah, if I had a big cutout of Elvis the same way, and it would scare me because we, we set it at the top of our steps of our old apartment, and whenever you every time you'd walk in. Like the front door, it opened, and the first thing you looked at was straight up the steps to the upstairs. And I don't know how many times after I first put it up there that I would come in in the dark and I would just see the silhouette up there and be like, fuck, and I'm like, oh, it's Elvis. <laughs> oh, God, it's Elvis. <laughs> All right, here, let's. <laughs> fuck, fucking Elvis. All right, let's take a break here. Okay. So we got this thing that's been submitted to us by a friend of the show. Mm -hmm. And what it is, is it's a a Taiwanese clinic. That seems to specialize in like fertility and STD. It's like it's like uh, you know what's that called? The states family. What's like that called? The Planned states? Parenthood. Planned or? Parenthood. It's like a Planned Parenthood kind of place. But what's great about it is now this is true if you like order McDonald's or anything. If you try to translate something into English, it's usually directly translated. And Chinese is a very literal and direct language. So mm -hmm. when it translates stuff into English, usually it's goddamn funny. But. I have it on good authority. I asked my Taiwanese friends to also look at the Chinese. It's already just kind of a weird website. The way they phrase stuff is kind of old fashioned. Mm -hmm. So it makes the English even funnier. So what I'm going to read from here is this is the STD examination page for if you are a man. And it has uh, 30 things, 30 questions that they like to ask you before you come into their clinic. <laughs> and it's, they start out pretty straightforward and they quickly very quickly get insane <laughs> and uh we'll we'll do we'll break off the man one this this little chunk of the podcast and then maybe one or two breaks later we'll come back in with the women what are you liking it so first one says so the name is the place is called cow medical examiner so they say that a bunch is they would like to ask you are you sorry for anyone that's question number one are you, are you sorry what's that mean question number two well i think i think it's do you have regrets maybe was what it's supposed to be but oh like so like, wait, like you, translate is on what that you slept with somebody you wish you hadn't like do you yeah may, or do you think that you slept with someone unclean it might be the direct the direct like uh. that, the more accurate translation but they just translate says are you sorry for anyone <laughs> okay so next one number two is when was the last time you bought a sex trade have you wearing a condom or not wearing a condom? So these are pretty straightforward. You know, sex trade is a funny way to put it, but that, that you can get the idea. Have you ever bought a sex? When's the last time you bought a sex trade? When's the last time you bought a sex trade, Nathan? I uh, couldn't say. <laughs> I, I don't know what that so, means. Wait, so <laughs> then they sort of get to this like cultural thing with like like sh bringing shame to your family stuff. Have you ever said to your grandparents, fathers, mothers, wives, juniors, and children that you have gone out to buy sex trades? No, why would I? No. Why would you ever mention it? Why would you ever say, Grandfather, I spent the whole weekend buying sex trades? They also ask you, when was the last time you went to Japan, South Korea, Thailand, Vietnam, Myanmar, Southeast Asia, Hong Kong, Macau, and other countries for sexual consumption? Sexual consumption? So, so far, these, these these questions are pretty on point. Like, you know, you're yeah. here for an STD check. You, they kind of make sense, right? Yeah, they're just they're worded funny, but it's like, yeah, sexual consumption. When was the last time you went to a hotel, a nightclub, a half store, a non-wearing bun, a set of condoms, and no condoms for sex consumption? Again, like when you go to a awful pretty much oh next one's like did you use dating software uh you know is there any strange or what strange symptoms now here's where they start getting <laughs> fucking wild are there any strange Here, so we're six questions in and i would say they're pretty straightforward it's what you'd expect maybe a little funny translations but now here's where they get wild <laughs> number seven I suspect that I'm wearing a cuckold. I would like to ask how a medical examiner to help me arrange systemic sexually transmitted disease test. So he wants this STD test because he suspects he's wearing a cuckold. Wearing a cuckold? Does that mean like cuckold, like a cuck? Right. But wearing it like his wife is cucking him? Don't understand. I just Great. I suspect that I was framed by someone else and was badger game by others. <laughs> was what? Ba badger game. I was framed by someone else and was badger game by others <laughs> I, I was framed by someone else we mean like tricked into like having sex with somebody who has an std or or someone framing you to say that you have an std because as a bad i don't know or like they're saying they got the std from you maybe is what a badger game is oh i have no way to prove that you i don't know either no idea what that means i suspect that my daughter has misunderstood a bad man 
and I want to take my daughter to do a checkup. Has misunderstood a bad man? A misunderstood a bad man. <sighs> That's great. I suspect that my granddaughter has been on a thief boat. <laughs> <laughs> What's that mean? <laughs> what does that mean? It's been on a thief boat and it's granddaughter yeah that's yeah god that is so specific in multiple areas like i suspect that my girlfriend loves to do sex with others okay again these i don't know what a thief boat is but like you can kind of understand like there's they they, they stay in the idea of medicine and having sex no with no, people, no right no 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 i can't understand what a thief boat is i've no, never I don't heard know what badger game is either i don't know what they're playing boat? badger games on the thief boat like i don't know what any of those mean no yeah you're i guess you're right but the next one is i suspect i was cursed <laughs> I mean, because you know somebody's coming in and they're just not owning up. And they're like, I don't know. I, no, I didn't. No, no. I wasn't fucking around. I, I think I'm on a dirty toilet or something. Yeah. I caught it off a cursed toilet seat. I am using dating websites to find opportunities to start sexual intercourse. I mean, what a clinical way to say that. I yeah. already know that I am wrong. I want to admit my mistake and I would like an STD test. Why, why, why do you need to? Why do you need to like... I'm wrong. I know that I'm wrong. I already know that I'm wrong. So I want to admit my mistake. I want to admit my mistake. So give me an STD test. Like, see, like they're kind of like that. There's like a, a layer of sex is bad at this STD clinic, it's, which is funny. Yeah. Then not very sex positive. No, no, not at all. I have reached the ultimate achievement of 10,000 people's sex. I want to end it all. What? I want to ask for an STD test. I want, does that mean? It's like Wilt Chamberlain. Didn't he have sex I with... It, he said he had 20, sex 20,000. I think it was 20,000. 20,000. Yeah. Holy shit. But he wants to end it all. He wants to end it all. What is... I mean, it all. I mean, that, imp that implies he's wanting to kill himself. Because he's reached the ultimate... Who set that goal? Who? who where's, where's that Xbox achievement? It's a pretty great one. I mean, I can't imagine. I mean, 10,000 people. <laughs> 10, I mean, you, gotta, like, you have to get... You have to get after it. You've got to be on it. God damn. You've got to be someone like Wilt Chamberlain. Not not normal people aren't. aren't no. There. Normal everyday people aren't fucking 10,000 people. And I was going to say, even if you're what? a sex worker, if you're a busy sex worker, like, yeah, it's going to take you a, a day. That's going to take you a minute to get up to 10,000. Years? Right, years. Even if you're doing seeing multiple Johns a day, 10,000 is ridiculous. Well, yeah, a few, you're looking at a few years of solid work. <laughs> Not if you love the game, man. Listen, if you love what you do, you don't work a day in your life. <laughs> oh, that's true. I, yeah. God, can you imagine? I'm going to... S <laughs> I can't. I really can't. Sorry, can you imagine, like, fucking... Like, fucking becomes a chore? Like, it becomes your job? Because, you know, it's like they say, don't do what you love for work. Which I get, because it's like, you know, it's like you get into something, you're like, oh, I love to draw, or I like design. And then you start doing it as a job, and you're like, fuck, I don't want to do it. You know what I mean? I so bet you it's like, I bet you it's like anything, man. I mean, sometimes <laughs> it's great. Sometimes, I mean, like, you know, sex has a spectrum. So when you're doing it for work, I bet you it's just, it's not, it's it's different. Sure. Like, it's always that just kind of like going through the motions kind of sex, which we've yeah. all had. Yeah. So, but we've yeah. all here had at the week, the Royal Week. <laughs> we've all had it, just going through the motions. I am ready to get married, and I want to take a serious look at my unclean body. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> Condescending much? <laughs> it's just like Old Testament shit. Like, I would like to take a serious look at my unclean body. That's so funny. God. I'm skipping around. Some of them are really straightforward. I am the old captain who jumped between many countries. I want to wash <laughs> my hands in the golden basin. You, you're full of shit. That's not a real... That's what it says. That's what it says. That's what... <laughs> I'm the old captain who's jumped between countries. I'm going to wash my hands in the Golden Basin. It's like something from because Indiana Jones. What, my, what, what, what Yeshin told me, because she looked at the Chinese, it's it's like it's like colloquial Taiwanese mixed in with matter-of-fact Chinese. So the translation doesn't really know how to handle that. Uh. So it translates the like folksy Taiwanese stuff to, in, like directly, which uh, is right. really funny when when stuck next to medical English. Yeah, so that, that makes sense because I mean the, you see some hilariously translated shit here just because it doesn't know how to deal with it. It doesn't know what to do, and it comes off being like you said, real like blah, and it's like that's not right. really what it, that. Blah, means. exactly. I have understood <laughs> that being a step back broadening the sky as a man i suspect that i am infected i want to face my hidden illness what <laughs> i want to f i want to face my hidden illness so that's the man section i mean i i skipped around a little bit but we'll check out the woman one okay i mean that's i love that that, that little cracks me yeah, up man that's great a thief boat i suspect my <laughs> granddaughter has been on a thief boat there's i think so it was on the thief boat oh the thief boat i don't remember i don't know i clicked away from it already the fuck is a thief boat <laughs> Let's get 
into some more headlines. Yeah. So we still have more in the spook grease slash monster slash unexplained. Mm-hmm. Alien threat, comma, no babies, comma, provided contraception. What? Are you still reading those fucking Chinese things? <laughs> alien threat, no babies, provided contraception. Can you imagine if an alien... I mean, the technology we, that we don't understand come to our planet from light years away and they fuck you? Raw dog? <laughs> Man. You're going to regret coming here tonight. <laughs> Son, Son. you're going to regret coming here to my planet and fucking tonight. I guess if you fuck, you can't get an STD from a cow or a dog or a chicken, right? If you fuck a chicken, did you, is, there, is there diseases you can catch? Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure some of them can't. The mammals. Yeah, but I, I, I'm, I'm not 100%, but I'm wanting to say there's certain STDs that we have today that came directly from people fucking animals. Oh, God. Oh, jeez. They didn't exist till somebody decided to fuck some animal that had something that they were like, oh, now this is a thing, and we can spread it to each other now, but if somebody would fuck one goat... Because I'm thinking, like, aliens... The reason they wouldn't use contraception is because, first of all, an alien can't impregnate you, but also, you're they're such a different being that I don't imagine they could even... They're, they can't get the same diseases as us, you know, or we can't get diseases from them. You'd think, unless you went, you know, War of the World style. They just call Can it you co- imagine? That honestly seems like it would line up with our fucking timeline. <laughs> imagine if aliens did come here and they fucked us and that killed them. Like, <laughs> like she, literally don't fuck with that planet. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, but imagine that though. Imagine if they were like really humanoid, right? They look almost exactly like us, but for some mm-hmm. reason, if you have sex with us, they die. Yeah. They just have, so I, well, I've seen some people on this planet that I, if they turned out, like it's like men in black. It's like if someone was like, oh, that's that's just, that's an alien. I'd be like, right on. Oh, I thought you were going to say that if I fucked them, I think I might die. That too. <laughs> I mean, that, that poor boy from last, last part of the thing. <laughs> I'm getting it all on a thief boat. But it, I, I, I like headlines. I've always liked those. I've always like specifically caught those of like when the it's not even English. It's like those words. They just put words together, right? And you're like, there's not a story. There's not even a story here. Like I don't even know no. what this possibly alien threat. No babies provided contraception. What alien threat? No babies provided contraception. So there was contraception. I guess there was. I mean. All right. Maybe, okay, maybe there's an alien threat and they don't want us to have babies. So they introduced the idea of the condom. I mean, is it killing you to throw a few more words in there to make that more, I, you know? I know. How, <laughs> how efficient do we fucking need to be? Yeah. This isn't, this isn't like old school Twitter. The old. <laughs> I'm, imagine this, man. Imagine if, because their technology is so advanced. Imagine if aliens came and they just sterilized the whole planet. They're like, oh, we're not even going to bother with the war. Wait a wait, wait, 100 yeah. years, they'll be dead. Oh, that's wild. If you just sit there and all of a sudden just like a blue light went over here, and you're like, what the fuck was that? They're like, oh, like, yeah, you guys no have, way. like, you, everyone who's here, you're good. You can live. But you can't have babies. Yeah, no more babies. Yeah, that would be pretty crazy. Isn't that like, uh, I mean, I don't think aliens were involved, but what? Was it children of men or something like that? Oh, what? children of men. Yeah, yeah, well, yeah. That's that, that, that people yeah. couldn't have kids anymore. And it was like a whole big thing because the world was dying because no one could. So it's a whole big thing. <laughs> it, was a, <laughs> it was a whole big thing. Can you imagine two people would get angry and they'd be like, God damn it, aliens. Be like, hey, listen, we could just kill you all. Yeah. Like a hundred years means nothing to us. We're just willing to let you guys all live it out. But like, fuck you. It would change the world. Because everyone would know this would be the last run. So, I, I mean, I imagine people... Yeah, they would change it. It would change it up even more so than just aliens showing up. Because aliens showing yeah, up would, would... Dude, the planet would go bonkers. And we would kill ourselves, probably. People will go fucking berserk if aliens just show up. I'm thinking it's going to happen, man. They've been, they've been building it up. I know if I read that thing, but they've been, they, they've been saying... Well, they released that report a while back that we have been that we were talking about, the alien report. They actually yeah, anything re- in it? I mean, juicy? No, nah, they're fucking beating around the bush like, all, like you knew it's they mostly- were and mostly a lot of like we acknowledge there's things we don't understand. Yes, yeah, basically it's like it was, that yeah. we we're, we're saying that there's stuff that we don't understand what's where it's coming from, and basically we're just going to keep looking at it because it was like those people. Some people were mad. They're like it was only nine pages long, and it was like, <laughs> what do you well, like? They were never going to straight out be like, okay, yeah, here's aliens. You knew it was going to be something like that, but it, it is pretty vague, and that, and it is basically just them being like acknowledging, yeah. All, the, all this stuff is real, and we don't know what it is. Uh, let's do another headline. Yeah, enough enough alien nonsense. Let's, enough uh, alien nonsense. Man's vanished penis returns, <laughs> yet to start functioning. Now, Any day now. Now, hold on. Hold, just, fa- <laughs> hold, hold on. 
They can't, you, that doesn't make a fucking lick of sense. You can't just say stuff. You can't just say stuff. Man's vanished penis returns. Like, where'd it go? I'm like one of those fucking Amish holidays where they can go see if they want to. What do you mean? Yeah, your dick goes out of rum spring. No, I imagine, I imagine, but I'm picturing like a, a magician's act gone wrong. Yeah. Like it disappears and then it comes back. Don't understand. He, he shows up in a box on the side of the other side of the stage and then he like whispers to the magician like, hey, buddy, <laughs> we have a problem here. I don't have a dick anymore. And he's like, what? <laughs> I don't. Yeah, he's like, but it, yeah, but it, I like how it disappeared and then showed back up, but it's not working. Yeah, yet to start functioning. Yeah, yet. To, well, okay, that's a problem. But you need to deal with the fucking vanishing part. Dude, your pe- things don't just vanish. You don't. You're, what, dude? That's about yeah. sent, that's about sent me over the edge. What's that mean? <laughs> what the fuck does that mean? I love it too that it like like it, it, sometimes we catch a headline after the story. You know, like we we learned about those feet that were washing up. Like another foot washes up on the shore can we're like another yeah another what, what are we and they're just like yeah feet just keep showing up and then it was like a really logical explanation i mean still pretty fucking insane no yeah we caught that we caught that midstream like we caught it as it was happening so this is the same thing so the we, they probably had a story about this guy's dick going away going away dude that doesn't no. it, van, it vanished <laughs> i know that's what it says but think dude i'd be pissed pissed and Utterly flabbergasted. But maybe it's no. But hold on. But maybe let's let's really think about realistically. What could it be? Maybe he went in for a surgery or something, and he woke up and they had they took his dick off. Still vanished. Not the right word. Van. But okay. But they took it off, but then they misplaced it. I still don't know if I go with vanished. There's. <laughs> yeah, we have. We, well, we have a higher standard of journalism here at the Royal We than normal journalism. Apparently, <laughs> that's it, what. Like if you it's like just waking up and like your hand being gone. Be like, oh fuck! It vanished. God, can you imagine? Yeah, whoa. Or maybe he had some of those oh. things. Maybe he had some insane. I don't know. Isn't there like a, can, uh, some something if you fuck the the tendons up or something? Like you can like your dick can oh, like go suck it. It'll suck it in. Yeah, it'll like go back into your body. Blah. Or I was thinking like, you ever get this? Like if it's like really hard, if you really exert yourself. Like when I work out a bunch. I do like a bunch of deadlifts. I guess like to tuck itself out of the way. It get it, it like turtles. It sucks way up in there. Does that not happen to you? Am I just wild? No, I've never. I, I mean, I've had that happen, but not with like something like that. Usually, if it's like it's the opposite. If it's like heat and it's like fucking all over the place. But if it's like if something, I'm exercising or hiking or something, yeah, it get, it get it like. But I've been like I was almost fucking attacked by dogs once, <laughs> and immediately afterwards, I realized my fucking balls had completely went inside my body, and I was like, oh, what? shit! I was oh, like, shit. what the fuck? I was like what like it freaked me out for a second and i was like they fucking yeah, it was because yeah, right, it, so. it was like an insane like fight or flight response it was i guess my body was like oh shit you may have to fight these dogs defense mode in game yeah it like sucked my fucking nuts up and i'm like that's one of the only times i ever remember that happening and but it's like i, I physically noticed i was like what's happening down there yeah transformer you're just a shit transformer blum, 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 blum. i was thinking like maybe he's <laughs> so shit, fat just a shit transformer what's that mean <laughs> <laughs> like that's the only thing that transforms, like form of dickless man. <laughs> a shitty transformer, Dickatron. So I'm thinking. Th- so what I'm thinking, maybe because it's a medical thing, maybe the dick didn't come. Like maybe the dick didn't get removed. Maybe mm. it, like it, it. He's so fat that it got sucked into his body fat. Like his his pubis region was so. Good uh, lord. Fatty. It got sucked you know, into got, his... Okay. I mean, because think about that, you know what I mean? Like, it's got to be something. Kind of big boys. Yeah. I recently lost a bunch of weight, and dude, let me tell you, it does... I mean, you take away that fat around the area, I mean, you get a little uh, length. Yeah, it does. Actually, I because I, I, I remember years ago, like, I lost... Yeah, I remember how big your dick used to be. Yeah, remember now. how big? No, it's true. For like, I lost, like, 80 pounds. Yeah. Oh, shit. You gain, like, fucking full-on inches to your dick. Like, it's, 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 a, it's a great motivator. <laughs> I think they say it's it's uh, you have to lose thirty something pounds. Yeah, thirty or forty pounds to, to gain an inch. inch. Yeah, so you got. I mean, you got to gain two inches. I, I, it was noticeable. I was like, damn. Oh shit! What's up, buddy? Damn. <laughs> What's up, buddy? Yeah, but has it yet to start functioning? <laughs> it's not functioning. He was back, but he he, he quit functioning. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's get let, let's open up the the foreign let's open up the foreign lands drawer. Yeah, that's a good one. Japanese restaurant finds success with delivery macho service. So I guess they'll send like a. A hunky oh, dude, like a, like a hunky dude, to bring you his food, bring you your food, bring you, bring you his food, <laughs> bring you his food. This is what I'm eating. <laughs> Please eat my dinner. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, hunky Japanese dude. But I, I mean, I don't want to interact with the delivery guy in any way. Uh, the other day we ordered food, we we're hanging out with Zach. They just dropped it off in front of the door, and that was awesome. Yeah, I love that. Yeah. 
here it's the same way like if I had, we're in, ew, what's funny because <laughs> we live on the the fifth floor like and there's still there's another flight of steps that go up to the roof and there's no rooftop apartment so this is an oddity there's no rooftop apartment on this one and uh pizza boxes are like the bane of our existence because i mean so hard to recycle they're, they're so hard to recycle and they're sticklers over here about like what how stuff is recycled like how, like you can't they're super like everything's got to be in its own bag so the pizza right. boxes, the only way we can recycle them is to break them down and actually to get them to fit into a box. You got to rip them up, and of course they stack up because there's like three of us living here, and people like, like <laughs> order a bunch of pizzas. So what's become the thing is we just put them out in that stairwell because no one goes to the roof. So on the next little rise of the steps, there's like 13 pizza boxes just <laughs> just stacked up <laughs> waiting to like be like I oh, will get to them one day. I don't know. It's been several months back, but I ordered a pizza, and the guy. <laughs> The guy brings me the pizza, and while I'm paying him for it, he turns and looks and sees this giant stack of pizza boxes, and then turns back to me and gets his super happy face. He goes and points at the pizza he just gave me and goes, "Your favorite!" I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> look, "Look, yeah, look." He's like, "This is your." I'm like, "Yeah, man." And it's like you can't explain. Like that's not just me. And I didn't like. <laughs> What went through his head? Well, how odd. It was what? so funny because it's like he kind of turned and did a little double take. And he was like, holy shit, there's a ton of pizza boxes and I'm delivering this guy. This is his favorite food. And he goes, your favorite. I'm like, yeah. But what's funny too is like, you know, again, we're big dudes. You don't see people as big as we are generally. You know, like Benny is the only Taiwanese person I would say is around our size. Yeah. like you. And like, t so like to order pizzas to you and see that, I must be like, holy shit. Yeah. Like if I met this dude, I remember like whenever we lived in that one place, and like one of us would go to McDonald's. Oh yeah. And I'll be like, hey man, I'm going to McDonald's. You want anything? And he'd be like, yeah, get me like a nugget meal or whatever. And I remember it, it was always the weirdest thing because for them to because I'll be like, and they 100% assume I'm eating it all. But I'll be like, <laughs> yeah. If I was like, I want a number one with a Coke. And they'd be like, okay. And then before they would just start ringing it up. And I was like, oh no no, no I'll see like a number four. And they'd be like, don't you like you want that and that? And I'm like, yeah. And they're like, oh, like, other people exist. God damn it. I yeah. have friends. Yeah. And I'm like, but I'm also like, even if I don't, fuck you. Yeah, what the hell? Yeah, if I was eating I mean, it we, all. You, we've, we've been told no before. You and I would go somewhere like, no, it's too much. We're like, what the fuck? Yeah, we've been we've been shut down several times. So they're like, it's too much food. And they're like, buddy. <laughs> you're just, right. Yeah, you're right. It's too much food, but it we can handle it. So just wheel it on out here. <laughs> How do you think we got the way we are, man? And the thing is, like, we always talk it's like, dude, we're paying for it. Like, what's the deal? Yeah, I've never understood that. Yeah, it's not like we're going into, like, an all-you-can-eat place and devastate. And it's like, what do we... No, and I don't think we could even... We put a hurting on some all-you-can-eat hot pots. Yeah, it's true. But was this delivery driver macho? No. No, he wasn't macho at all. He wasn't... <laughs> yeah, who's that for, man? That's odd. I mean, I guess you could pick up some tips or whatever. Like, that's like, I've never really understood people who... You know, they have, like, maid services where the woman will be nude. Will be what? They'll be she'll like clean your house naked or in a bikini or something. Oh yeah, see I've never been into that. It's like yeah, I don't I can clean my house. I don't give a shit what you look like. Yeah, or like I'm not even gonna be there probably. Or like bikini car washes and stuff. Like I'm like it just makes you feel like a perv. Well, I mean I guess my thing and it's the same way like strip all that stuff. It's like if you to me that just seems like a a, a, a lazy way around the point. It's like if you want to see someone naked, there's very direct ways to do it. Why waste your time beating around the fucking bush with a fucking car wash or something? Yeah, and also it kind of it like speaks to the like it, it's like we're all so impulsive sex maniacs that mm -hmm. like I need my car wash but I want a naked woman to do it like I don't, or like you know a bikini woman it just yeah. it doesn't appeal to me it, does, it makes me feel like god damn it other dudes must be idiots in a way that just doesn't make sense I agree I 100% agree dude I remember there's a fun this is a funny little side story real quick side subplot subplot <laughs> Blam. But you know, there <laughs> at, at, uh, when we lived in Florida, right next to there was a gas station that was right next to the school. And there was a, a car wash there for years, like the entire time we went to school there. It was just I a, remember that right in the corner. Yeah. yeah, it was just a regular car wash. Well, of course, well, I, I get married at the time. My ex-wife, she moved moved down there. And we're like, oh, we need to get the car washed. And I was like, I was like, oh shit, there's like a car wash right here by the, like right here. And I pull in and at some point it became a bikini car wash. But between you pulling in, no. like you could have just not pulled in no you know what i mean it's like yeah i do i do i guess yeah at some point between the last time i noticed that there was sure, a car sure. wash there to whenever i was like oh hey there oh we can just get it washed right right here like there's a car wash and i pull in and it's a bikini car wash and i was like wait a minute what and she's like of course she's like what she's like what and she was like pissed off that i and i was like i didn't know it was a bikini she's like you knew it was here i was like but it wasn't a bikini car wash the last time i was here yeah i also don't think it is all the time but it's so funny that's such a florida or maybe southern like obviously it's hot down there 
there, but I don't yeah. think I've never seen a bikini car wash until I saw that one. I agree. Me either. And it was right there, and it, but it was funny. Like, dude, I never lived that down because like she never believed that I was like I was like, why would I But you guys lived there for a while. She must have seen that it wasn't one all the time. Or was it always No, from it that was point always on? it was no, it was always a bikini car wash from then on. Oh shit. Oh shit. Every time we would drive we was right by our house and every time we drove past it, it was just bikini girls out there and I would always get a fucking look like there's your car wash and I'm like fuck off like I didn't know what was it I, the, I, <laughs> yeah I don't know your honor yeah your honor <laughs> uh, let's do uh, one more and then let's take another break yep sounds good uh, weird an- this is in sex goo mm. weird ancient job anus blower who blows the pharaoh's anus <sighs> what purpose what purpose would you need your anus blown I mean it gets hot in Egypt it does <laughs> get the sand out of there yeah and I bet the, I bet the, I do bet you think the, they do it because he's a lot I bet there's a little bit of fuck you I'm the pharaoh I don't like that guy he's my anus blower I wouldn't want someone I don't like to do it <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I would. Yeah, I would. You know, I will. I will only want trusted individuals f- blowing my anus. Yeah. What's you're, the you're, purpose of that? Is it just because you're the pharaoh and you do it? This I think it's because he's dead. I think it has something to do with the cremation process when they do those like weird Egyptian mummification stuff. But I, I think that's what it is. What they're blowing on him after he's a mummy? No, I think that they do something where they blow up, like they they to to some part of the process of mummification, and they put a straw in his ass and blow the. They like fill up. His intestines or something with air. Oh, so this is this is after the fact. He's not. He's not. I don't know. I'm just guessing it. I mean, I have no idea. I mean, it's. I mean, it's a good a guess as any. Is why the fuck that would be a thing. Or it could be a sex thing. It could be a sex goo thing. It could be. A, you know how boring sex must get if you're a pharaoh. You think? I you can fuck any, like you anyone at the order of death, like anyone, beautiful women, beautiful men, fat men, fat women, like any goddamn children, <laughs> dogs, animals, like a twenty at a time, forty at a time. Everyone's attention on you. You guys fuck each other. Any, any fucking depravity you could fucking think of. I bet you got rules for a while, but, but then it's, it's like anything. You're just like, ah. if, yeah, I guess you're right. Because I was like, for a minute, I'm like, that doesn't sound boring, but it's like, yeah, you know, like fucking Caligula or something. Like after a while, it just gets so crazy that what you got to get. But I mean, people get into that shit nowadays. Like you get so, they get so obsessed. Porn stars. With some, yeah. And they start going down some weird rabbit hole that are like, I can't, the only way I can get off is this weird fucking, the end of this weird cul-de-sac that I, I call carved out for myself because like I went down (laughs) Yeah, and you know, pharaohs aren't like kings. Pharaohs are like gods. Like they're, yeah. they're seen as yeah, yeah. So it's like you. I mean, if you want to fuck, if, you know, these yeah. Oh, the pharaoh wants to fuck me. All right. Yeah, I mean, after a while, because I mean, people are fu- and always have been, and I would say probably a little bit more so in the past. Goddamn animals. Oh sure. <laughs> just, just, <laughs> just woof. The shit. The shit you would get up to a couple thousand years ago with with no repercussions because life's already short and hard, like a bodybuilding elf. So you. You got a vanished penis. Yeah, you got to get in there. And if you, so if you have, you know, I'm only going to live to be 40, but I rule. People think I'm a god king. I better let's let's get in it. And I, like I said, though, I bet you it uh, it is great. Sure, of course. But it that's be- when you start like vi- that's when you start like you know Caligula and stuff. You cut people in half like while you're eating your dinner and like just, just being ridiculous. Mm-hmm. Well, which one do you want to click here? I was going to say there was a guy. Ah, never mind. I can't think of it enough to. I can't bring it to <laughs> sure. To the front of your brain. No, yeah, there was a guy. There, I remember typing it a while back. There was a guy, but he was a he was a jester. I think I remember sending you guys the story. He was a like, he was like fuck with the king. Yeah, he was a jester, and the king was like he won the king over by like fucking around with him, and we were like, all right. And then, but they were like, hey man, you got to lay off my wife and her concubines because like you're embarrassing her. Like the shit you're saying is funny, but you're embarrassing her at, like <laughs> functions and shit. But like it's so like you can't. Don't insult the fucking queen. Well, he was like, yeah, right on. And he just kept doing it. So eventually the queen was like, listen, enough with that guy. So the king was like, all right. He's like, listen, I gave you enough chances. I like you, but basically ignored everything I've said. And you're basically treating me like I'm not the king and making fun of my wife and shit. Like, you're funny and you make everybody laugh. But he was actually sentenced (laughs) to death like several times. Like people wanted him. I think that's how the king came to make him their jester is someone came and reported him. He said, this guy insulted the shit out of me. And like, he made (laughs) all this funny. He goes, I I want you to like. Legendary fucking insult. Yeah, legendary insult status so where this guy goes to the king is like this guy insulted me and my family and like like I need you to deal with him the, the, they brought him in and so he had to like stand trial in front of the king and the king was like what'd you what'd you do and the guy was like well he's like uh, I think the the, the punchline of story is that king told him I'm gonna kill you but you get to choose how you die yeah, instead of a yeah he's like age. he's like because you've been yeah you've been such a loyal servant he's like I'm sentencing you to death but I'll let you pick I'll let you pick the manner in which 
you get sentenced to death. And he said, well, then I, I choose to be, I choose to die of old age. And the king thought that was so fucking funny. He's like, classic this guy. And was like, all right, then you, I'll, I'll grant it. He's like, but you're banished from the kingdom and you can never come back. And the guy, he left and was never heard of again. Like, no one know what, knows like, <laughs> how he ever ended up but like that was the end of I his love it. yeah but yeah he said something that i think maybe actually he came to the king and said this guy said i insulted this guy and this now this guy is threatening to kill me and the the king asked what it was that he said and whatever the he told the king was like this is what i said to the guy and now he's threatening to kill me and the king thought it was so funny what he said that he was like listen if this guy kills you he's like i'll i'll have him killed within within an hour after he kills you and he was like okay that's cool and all he's like but you could you kill him now instead that way that like i still <laughs> and that and that's what it was that's what it was and the king's like god damn like you're double funny and he's like you want a job <laughs> 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 And then he was such Shit. a fucking smart Born too ass. late, man. Yeah. And he was such a fucking smart ass that it basically got him banished from the kingdom. But he was like, yeah, legend. Which one of these we going to click? We got alien threat, no babies, provided contraception. <laughs> I mean, that's... We got the, the vanished penis. I, the delivery monster service, whatever. But then there's the weird ancient job that Pharaoh's anus blower... What do you think? Man, you think? man. Just uh, the first two, one is just because it's just a series of words that means nothing. I mean, Vanish penis, I think, is the most, the juiciest one. <laughs> oh, it's juicy. That was the juicy. Yeah, let's do that one. All right, let's play the card. And then take a... <laughs> this is on Ghana, Ghana web. So I know this is from an African. So this is going to be a... <laughs> Dude, we've got into some nonsense with that. Yeah, <laughs> it's been some nonsensical African website. <laughs> the bee sting to penis size research department. Remember that nonsense? All right, so we got man's vanished penis returns. You have to start functioning. So let's first got some bullet points to start this article off. Okay. The penis of a 52-year-old farmer vanished at a funeral ground. Mm. Bulletin one. It has, however, returned, but yet to function. Bulletin two. The man with the returned penis has been asked to abstain from sex for a while. Bulletin three. Now let's get to the article. <laughs> no, I know nothing more. Those fuck those bullet points. Those mean nothing. A 52-year-old farmer in the Crouchy East Pana- m- 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 well, <laughs> What? Municip- municipality. <laughs> Crouchy. Cr- what'd you say? The Crouchy East Municipality. I just butchered the word municipality and fucking. Nah. Of the OT region has had his penis returned after mysteriously vanished. Mm. The return manhood is, however, yet to start functioning. Narrating the incident, the younger brother of the family said that they were at a funeral when a stranger came to them and complained of hunger. This is like the story you just told us nathan in their bid to serve the stranger some food he suddenly touched his brother's manhood and shortly after the manhood vanished speaking to the adam news the brother of the farmer who's also a fetish priest what does that mean what's that mean the penis has not returned no way what's the what what's was it a mean fetish priest it has returned but i can't tell if it will function as it is used to or not he said laughing according to him although the vanished penis has returned after search and a traditional performance has been given some days to abstain from sex to enable the progress of work he has not been permitted to have sexual intercourse at the moment by who was optimistic by by (laughs) by who what is it this is a gaggle of fucking idiots what's that who's in charge of this who's in charge of this guy's dick the uh, the suspect at the time has been identified and is taken to the police for investigation. They have police. And all efforts to bring back the manhood failed. No. Uh, they said that the police hierarchy does not deal with spiritual matters and says he rescued the suspect from being assaulted. All right. Absolute, so, absolute horse shit. That's the biggest load of baloney. What? There's a... a- there's an image of a guy like holding his crotch with pants on, and it says the man has been asked to abstain from sex for a while. File photo. <laughs> this one, not him. This is one they had. Oh. This has 27 comments. Dude, that. I mean, I guess you're just allowed to say whatever you want, but I mean, that's complete gobbledygook. Well, the he's a fetish the, priest. On the, the comments are all insanely ra- ra- racist. They're all what? They're all really racist. No, oh. it's all like it's like Nigerians arguing with Ghanaian people. <laughs> Ghanian? Ghanan? Ghan... Yeah, what, Ghanian? That's, I mean, okay. A fetish priest. Is the fetish priest okay, the yeah, one... I, I, is the fetish priest the one that didn't... Doesn't want him to have <laughs> sex... I, well, here's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking this dude. Okay, yeah. I'm thinking. Okay. <laughs> so I went down the rabbit hole. Those comments. Sorry, okay, sir. I'm back. I'm back. <laughs> I, I went. Are there any good ones? No. Maybe it's put, all really racist. Oh, okay. Shit. Yeah, yeah. All right. I'm thinking this dude's dick just quit working. Like he's yeah, just. Yeah. Right. He, right. He's just having problems, and as an excuse, he said some stranger 
made it vanish and then when it came back it's not working instead of because that that's the kind of baloney you get into with that sort of stuff it's never just straightforward and being like all right all right you know and then they somehow the news got involved like i don't know they love to talk about dicks and stuff i mean yeah and they and they uh, they, right. they love to like not to just lean right into oh yeah this this guy's this happened this, this guy's dick was vanished like that that happened because it didn't because we <laughs> right li- well we live on earth and they, and and no one's dick no one vanished your dick and then brought it back, and now it's not working. Just your dick just stopped well, working. Well, man. I don't know. I read. I read it in the newspaper. I read it in the news. I? That's that's basically what. Yeah, it was in the news. Yeah, I mean, that's why it's ridiculous. And that's say, oh, welcome to our podcast, basically. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I read. All it. right. Let's take another break. Yeah. Let's take another break. Let's break off another one. We'll be right back. Yep. Blue. 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 All right, we're back. Woo! Hey, we're back. Hey, yeah, we're back. Hey, we're back. Let's do a let's do a lightning round. Let's just like clear. Let's just go through them fucking record speed. You ready? Yep. I, I love a lightning yeah. round. Yeah. I mean, woo-hoo. so we've only we made it through four drawers so far. It's just isn't so bad. Mm-hmm. But let's let's go. We're gonna start this one with a bullshit slash what drawer? Huh? And we'll do a, We'll do a lightning round. What I'll do is I'll read the headline. I'll pause for a moment, and then I'll. I will. I'll, I'll keep going. Okay. Faster than I normally would. I don't know that I'll be like lightning fast, but well, I'll just go faster. Okay. Break into it then. All right. Yeah. Toddler recorded his first music album before he was born. Nope. No, he didn't. <laughs> Social media star promotes fake books as props for wannabe online uh, online influencers. I've seen that a lot. People like on on like Zoom calls, or whatever. They'll have like books behind them. I've seen whenever Conan interviews people, he usually call them out. If he sees a bunch of books, like you didn't read those books. <laughs> Wait, so the person just puts a bunch of... Wait, what? People, yeah, the, like, uh, rich people sometimes will buy books by the yard. Like, they don't... It's not books that they... Like, I don't know, every book I bought, more or less, something that I was interested in, not necessarily that I read, but might have been interested in reading. Sure. But I think oh, so this... people, influencers and stuff, will just buy a bunch of books to have on their shelf to make them look a certain way. Jesus, all right. Man <laughs> decides to become a smurf to find self-confidence. <laughs> <laughs> more power to you, buddy. <laughs> I mean, <sighs> I've never, I, I, I always, this is something I don't really quite understand. When people do fringe shit and then get <laughs> upset that people treat them like they're doing fringe shit. Oh, yeah. Yeah, fuck you. No, I don't mean like LGBTQ stuff. I mean, you know, I'm an ally, more power to them. I yeah, mean, if you dye yourself blue and then you say you're a smurf and you're going to upset when people make fun of you. Sure. Like, I guess people shouldn't make fun of you, but you have to understand. <laughs> Right. Yeah. I remember years, years ago, like whenever I was like teenager, maybe. Uh, yeah. I used to have these big like Liberty spikes, big spiked and uh, like, dye them crazy colors. And you wouldn't know. If, oh, in your hair? Yeah. Yeah. But And you wouldn't believe how many times you'd run into people. And I remember then though having, because I would get mad sometimes. I'd be like, and then later I'd be like, yeah, man, but you you have a ridiculous haircut. So of course, fucking rubes in West Virginia are going to say something. But if, I remember being like, how many times someone would be like, what happened? You stick your finger in a light socket? I'd be like, <laughs> <laughs> got him. Classic. Yeah, I'm like, you're like the 300th person to say that. Like, that's. I mean, I guess you get hit by you lightning. Should just not comment on other people. Sure. I mean, I think that's what it comes down to. Like, just don't comment on strangers. Just yeah, leave them alone. But it just seems odd. Like, you're gonna like if if I dye my hair pink, I feel like I'm someone might say something. You know? Sure. And depending on where you were in the time and place, yeah. Like, I remember like no one else looked like many people looked like that from where I was from. So it was like you, you're you know. And I guess that was part of it, too, is the fact that, you know, I was I mean, doing... It happens to us here in Asia. Sure. Exactly. Yeah, if I don't shave for a couple days, people will be like, oh, you have too much hair. And I go, well, cool. What's it to you? I'm like, what the hell? Yeah. Well, I always get people to ask me if my beard's religious. If, if it's if it's like that because of if my... If you're Muslim or something? Yeah. Like, it's like, it's, is your beard it's for religious? And I remember us as a joke one time saying, no, I use it to catch mosquitoes. And I so that's my default response. I'm like, no, I, I catch mos- it catches mosquitoes. And they always go, oh. And then I just let it sit. Because then they're like, oh, no. <laughs> Anyway, let him know, let him Pastor accused of farting on congregation's face says, wait, what? Whoa. Pastor. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. Pastor accused of farting on congregation's face says it's a demonstration of God's power. How did he fart on the entire face of the congregation? The congregation I means know, that's the whole what, church. That's what made me pause. That's what gave me pause. I was like, 
What? <laughs> I mean, the Lord works in mysterious ways. That's, it farts on the whole. Whoa. That's the demonstration of God's power, Nathan. It is, bro. What's so funny is like he's not even denying. He just goes, I know I did. And that's why I am mighty. That's a demonstration of God's fa- power that I farted on every person in this church's face. <laughs> you wish you hadn't <laughs> farted on me here tonight. Uh, this is in not news slash fast food. McDonald's customer traumatized by error that left her vomiting and in tears. I could have been hospitalized, quote. Well, what the... I mean, okay. What could they possibly have done? Traumatized and in tears and vomiting. Wow. And what could they What could they have given her that would have done that, I wonder? I mean, how badly did they fuck up? I'm so curious. Yeah, because McDonald's is pretty like... It's like it's like a Play-Doh factory. Like, it's the same one everywhere. It just squeezes out right. burgers. They're all the same. It's hard to fuck it up. Yeah, real hard to fuck it up. And most people don't want to. Like, they're just doing their job. They're not really fucking with your food. Yeah. Yeah, I know people who work there, and actually, they, they like to see how fast they can do it. They take pride in that. Yeah, and most people aren't, like you said, out for fucking vengeance, or what was the... the no, uh, no way. Physical retribution, or Physical whatever. retribution. <laughs> the man who died a thousand years ago... This is the science of technology. Ugh. The man who died a thousand years ago from constipation ate grasshoppers for months. <laughs> well... I mean, it t- it takes somebody to know we shouldn't do it. You know what I mean? Human penises are shrinking because of pollution, warned scientists. Oh, no. Like, that'll, maybe that'll help. Yeah. You know, like, let's just tell them that. Yeah, tell them that. Hey, man, your dicks will get little if you keep using plat styrofoam. No, oh, no. <laughs> Why'd Bill just start recycling all of a sudden? Like, he's, he's, he's never been a stickler for that sort of thing. Well, what the thing about that, though, is, like, on what, uh, how much could you possibly affect, like, even if you start, unless you're the guy in charge of pumping stuff into the ocean or whatever, like, you, nothing you do is going to have an effect. Like, no. if it's already in the chain of, like, if it's affecting humans around the world, nothing you do is going to stop it. Yeah, and also nothing. The Gulf of Mexico is on fire. Yeah, and, uh, and also if nothing you do now or in the future is going to affect two too much the climate or the size of your dick, not like you're no because like, it's, it, it's not an individual problem. Yeah, it's like yeah, yeah. and it's nothing nothing you're doing is going to affect the size of your dick. Yeah, yeah. you got to find a wife with a big dick and have a baby with her, and then that that baby has a big dick, and then it has to find a big dick woman. That's to have how it sex happens. With. Yeah. <laughs> Hold on just a second. What? What? Hold on, just one one second. Are you outraged or you have? No, I, I can't. I can't think about. Quit thinking about the guy who ate nothing but grasshoppers and died. Oh, we're going back. Okay. <laughs> I mean, all I was saying though was like, I guess it takes a thousand me, years ago. A thousand years ago. That's like Genghis Khan times to give you a little bit of. So this guy just, and I bet this guy was like, "Fuck, man! Everybody else is hard up for food. I'm fine with eating grasshoppers." Like he, you know, he was like, "I mean, I mean, I guess you." I, I, they always say bugs are so full of protein. I bet you he just got stopped up. You ever just like gone crazy on protein and just can't yep. ship? Yep, and two, I, I mean, bet if, I bet he was eating the wings and the legs and all of it. Yeah, he's probably just eating it all. Yeah, of course he was. Because that's all the, the all that fibrous shit. Yeah, your body probably can't digest that. So I guess if you ate, you just got he got clogged up with fucking wings and legs. But and where's stuff. he getting that many? Co- I, mean, I guess back then bugs must have been a different level than they are today. Because they always say that there's less bugs now. That's <laughs> what they say. They even say that like they say like even from when we were kids <laughs> to now, there's less bugs. Do I say that? And every time I say that, someone counters me with, "Well, when was the last time you were outside for a long time?" Like when you were a kid, and I'm like touche. Yeah, because yeah. because when, when I'm at, when you I was a kid, I was outside like ten hours a day, actively looking for bugs, like trying to but see what. I, I, I think they said though, like like d- like demonstrably. Like, there's less bug splatter on cars and stuff driving on the highway. Mm-hmm. Demonstrably. I don't know if I said that right. I don't know. It's a good wrestler name. I, I actually don't know if that's a factual thing, but I've always took it as facts. But, yeah. No, I'm the same way I've, I've, I've heard that. Because it was like, do, do, you, do you remember spit bugs? Spittle bugs? Oh, yeah. When's the last time you saw one of them? <laughs> Again, I mean, we sit in a city. I'm sitting exactly. in an apartment in a skyscraper. Yeah. yeah, we're in a fucking concrete jungle, surrounded by a literal jungle that you could go explore and be like. But yeah, but I remember running into those as a kid. I'm like, that's wild. There's these little bugs just set in little frothed up puddles of spit that they've kicked up. And I always thought that was super. Yeah. And even as a kid, they were kind of rare to see. It was like, oh shit, spit bugs. That is interesting. I mean, because. I- when I was a kid, I mean, I guess I would read a lot, but I would just sit outside. I remember I used to just, like, play in the dirt. Yeah, I would, and, like, just yeah, be yeah. in the woods. Just be outside in the dirt. I said actively, actively looking for bugs. Like, in the realm of the bugs, yeah. right. Like like a nine to five job of trying to find bugs. I can remember coming into the house one time when I was a little kid. Well, I don't remember this. I just remember it. Be, it was told to me in tale that I came I came in and went was like took my coat off. And my mom went to hang it up. It was like God. It's like you got coats all dirty. Like one of those like little like neon green like raincoats that little kids 
have one of those little like nylon coats, and the pockets were completely full of worms. Where I just oh, I, I just went outside and was just like, yeah, I collected like thirty worms and just put them in my pocket and just came inside. Ugh. Little kids, man. Little kids are just like no, like there's just like a. It's not that they don't have sense, but it's like you wouldn't think you're not thinking far enough down the line to think that you don't want to fill your coats pockets with worms you're just like i need i want yeah. to carry the worms where else am i going to put the worms and i'm going to have them forever because i remember being upset well no actually i don't remember being upset i was told that i was upset i gotta just let's distinguish here because this this is one of those memories that i don't really have i just know it because sure. my parents told me someone else told you right yeah and they were like, and you were you were upset because we were like, we got to put the worms outside. And I was like, but those are my worms. Like I spent I spent all day. I gathered the worms. Yeah, like I went out, I gathered the worms, and I put them in my pockets. Them's my worms in my pockets. What is a man but not the worms in his pockets, mother? <laughs> Prick me, do I not bleed? <laughs> Gather my worms, take them away from me, thine I will not. <laughs> will I not cry? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> take a man's worms, will you, mother? <laughs> <laughs> but it's true, and because that's all I had to think about as a kid it was like, get, right. like it's just so it, it, it's great. I mean, I don't know. And I guess I mean you could do well, it well, now. Nothing's you, stopping us from going to do it now. Yeah, yeah exactly. But I think I just know better. I'll bring a bag. <laughs> yeah. What do you want to do? Yeah, because when I was in college, we we, we caught a bunch of fucking cockroaches. Because my, my 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 buddy Trotch was terrified of cockroaches. And we knew if you went downtown at night, the streets were crawling with the bastards. So we went down. Oh, sure. We went down with the bastards. R- we, and crawled them with the bastards. We put on like latex gloves and had a big freezer bag and went down on the sidewalks and just caught a whole freezer bag full of cockroaches. Like probably fifty fucking cockroaches in this bag. Dude, it was, oh my it, god! It was, it was disturbing. <laughs> That's giving me the jeebies just thinking about yeah, you doing. I don't. I don't know how I did it. Cause see, but the thing is, I never. I've seen you freak out. I've seen you freak out. I was going to say, I I never really had a thing about cockroaches until I started getting it when I lived in Florida because they have those mega fucking those uh, they pa- got those the the palmetto the, bugs the hissing ones those make crazy noises yeah but then dude I've never seen cockroaches like I've they seen fly. them that, that, like I've seen them here the, 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 the cockroaches here are on another level they're like the fucking things from Men in Black like if I saw them just drinking coffee if I remember being in the bathroom taking a burl at that place where we lived at uh, a couple several years ago and one of them just came up out of the shower they would come out of the drains and shit and I saw it on the wall and I was like oh fuck I was like I oh, he, he didn't seem too scared and she was like taking his time so I was like I can I can finish up and get out of here and come back and kill him but I was like keeping an eye on it and then all of a sudden it, dude it stuck its neck out they have necks and it Ugh. stuck its neck out and went very faintly I heard this like chirping noise I remember opening the door and going Sam bring me the spray and you had to bring me get the him sp- yeah if you had to give me the spray while I was on the, the, the shitter to spray this thing because I was like no something about that it was like he was calling for backup or something I was like it's what I've never heard one make a a noise from its head and I was like what yeah, no way yeah they're like little creatures here yeah. said, uh, to be honest though I haven't I never have interacted with them as much as I did when we lived in that shitty apartment me either that was the worst that, place I, I, was, uh, yeah, I mean, that was the worst they would just show up and by the like the dozens and they're as big yeah, as my rough. goddamn thumb they're huge. casting shadows and stuff anyway lightning round <laughs> Lightning round. Well, uh, well, hold on. No, let's let's. <laughs> yes, lightning round. But let's let's play a card on one of these, and then let's oh. break off the other. Uh, okay. The other uh, STD thing. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Uh. Well, hold on. What we got? We got toddler music. We got fake books. We got Smurf Man. We got farting on the congregation. We got McDonald's traumatization. That's I'm interested. I'm interested in that. What was the grasshopper man? And penis is shrinking because of pollution. I think the penis shrinking thing is is, is baloney. It's yeah, uh, uh, I think uh, McDonald's. I want to care what the hell they did to her to make her throw to make up her throw and, up and, and cry tears. and think that she I could have been hospitalized. Yeah, yeah. Let's Ms. let's lemon. see. <laughs> This is ridiculous. It's ridiculous, little lemon. It's hilarious. Well, those are all bad. Uh, um, yeah, no, we're not doing great with that. Uh, okay, I'm going to accept cookies here. Uh, okay, let's play the card on this. A McDonald's customer has been left traumatized after eating meat for the first time in her life. Oh, after the fast food giant gave her a chicken burger, burger and a veggie wrapping by mistake. No. Yeah. Will that hospitalize you, I wonder? No. Unless you have some sort of a medical, an actual medical condition. I mean, yeah, I guess you're not ready for it. It'd probably make you shit yourself. 
he could. Right? Like, if you've not had meat for years and you eat meat, I bet you, like, your body's not, like, you, it doesn't yeah. have the enzymes to yeah. prepare. It's going gonna, it's gonna to mess with your, your, your flaw. You're going you're gonna to have some shits, but you'll be okay. Yeah. I mean, I, I obviously feel like no one should do this, but mix-ups happen. I mean, I used to date a girl who was vegetarian, mm-hmm. and she was always real chill about it. Like, if something accidents happen, she's like, yeah, it happens, okay. And then she would just, right. you know, have them fix it and then get at the veggie thing. But to, like, vomit and be in tears and stuff, it's just like... You'll be you'll be fine. What I mean is, like, you don't, it's, I don't know how to explain it. It's like, you're, you're putting a lot into their hands. Like, you know, eventually a mix-up is going to happen, you know? Right. Yeah, when you're asking a place like McDonald's to be like, I don't want any meat. I mean, and the thing is, too, like, you have to, there has to be a disclaimer somewhere on their website that's like, hey, you know, it's like when you, you buy something, it's like, this, this has been made at a a factory that produces eggs and nuts and like all this shit, which I always think is funny. It's like, what is this factory? Yeah, I know. The fucking egg nut wheat meat factory. Like, yeah. Like it could have come in contact with all this stuff. I remember years this ago finding something- out people who were like allergic to nuts. Like oh, I remember years ridiculous. ago. Yeah, and and they started I started seeing signs of being like this food oh, where what it was somewhere really funny though to have seen it. I think it was like an Auntie Anne's like pre- is that what it's the place it's called? That pretzel the place? pretzel place? Yeah, the pretzel place. And they hung a sign out that said our pretzels may have come in contact with peanut dust and I remember thinking that was so funny for some reason and like I, I get why they were doing it and it makes uh, I, and, but I'm like where and I'm just, it's just because you're in those mass factories where like just everything's getting churned out so like right. sure peanut dust is a thing Ugh, this article is way longer than it needs to be man I'm, I'm kind of breezed through it her, her main point was like if I had been allergic to it I could have died but you weren't well sure I've been stung yeah. by bees and if I was been allergic I could have died but I'm not yeah if I, I had an omelet this morning if I was allergic to that, I would have died. Yeah, I mean, it sucks. I, I don't. I mean, I don't, I'm not. I'm not so much like it sucks. She got the food she didn't want. L- you know? unless, yeah, I agree. I agree. I'm not. I'm not saying fuck, fuck her, or like or whatever. But I'm like, come, all right, just be reasonable about it. Like I get it. Saying if that would, you know, that'd be like if I'm standing by a swimming pool and you walk by and push me in, I'd be like, God damn it, dude! And my phone was in my pocket. That was a dick move. Like, all right, it's funny, and but but whatever. But then, but but if I was like, what if you, if dude, if I had no, if I didn't know how to swim, I could have drowned. Yeah, no shit. Maybe. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe don't stand by a swimming pool, Nate. Yeah, I mean, because that's what I kind of feel too. Like if you if you ask someone else to make your food. You're gonna, you know, mistakes happen and people do get in trouble. Like they Shit people are allergic to stuff, right. get you know, eggs and stuff. Sure. Yeah. Like I said, I'm not, yeah. Once again, and I'm not like. I guess I just. What, why are we hearing about it? You know, that's the kind of thing that. I, like, why did this not just get handled in a store? You know. Cause we're yeah exactly. This is what our whole thing hinges on too. Is just nonsense like that of like why was it fucking news? Why was exactly it? like a lady got she accidentally ate. It was the first meat she'd ever eaten, and that is kind of. I mean, I'm, I can imagine it's pretty traumatizing. But it's like the first. I guess meat if it's she's such a eaten. problem for you yeah she'd never eaten meat in her life but if it's such a problem for you why are you going to restaurants that serve meat yeah if if your whole thing if, if i was like man i don't want to have any contact but again people are obviously free to eat how they want to eat sure it sucks if you get something you you told it was one thing that's yeah. like when burger king got in trouble for giving people horse meat people were so up and uh, up in arms about that it was horse meat and I was like I, I think it's more of a trouble that they told them it was beef because like serve yeah. me horse meat if it's horse meat I'm cool with that Just I'll eat tell it me it's horse meat yeah. but don't tell me it's beef like yeah. I mean cause, you know but the thing is this, they weren't lying it was just a mistake yeah well, and, and, I don't know I, and, uh, I don't know how to feel I, I feel like both parties were ridiculous I agree uh, then well, it's like when Taco Bell got called out for putting what was just essentially sand in their beef as a filler. A silica? Was that, is that but true? It was all what they were using. And they were saying, they're like, no, it's there in the ingredients. But they were, yeah, the, 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 the name they were using was like the scientific like name for what it was. But it was essentially sand. If you, if you dumb it way down, it's, it's like artificial sand. And they were, and people got real mad. It's like they're using sand as a filler. And they were just like, well, I mean, we, we told you it was it's in the ingredients we just used a different word <laughs> and then they had to eventually like go and use something else which who knows what they're using now but if it, they're like it's, it doesn't hurt you it's just a little bit of sand <laughs> that we put in our meat to fill it out it is it say oh silicon dioxide it's something yeah it's silica silica maybe it's, it's sand, silica. yes yeah they're like if you dumb it way down it's basically sand i guess it's like they use it to anti-clumping agent yeah I mean. and and that was the that was the headline of course that got out was like well you would be you'd be surprised by like how much stuff comes from like the shells of beetles and like oh it's insane you know, the, the stomachs of sheep or the tongues of love you know like there's all kinds of crazy stuff yeah no 
don't you don't you don't want to peek behind any process. I'm okay meter. with it. I, I think it's important to have an understand. I mean, this is I, I told you it was going to happen at the beginning of the episode. We're going to get, get serious real serious about the issues. Here we go. But I think it's important to understand how the world works. I know? agree. Like like the, why gloss like, over it if that's a thing? Yeah, that's, don't gloss over. Read about it. Learn about it. Oh, it's yeah. silicates and other foods. Okay, yeah. Instead of getting mad that it's in Taco Bell, like understand what it is and how it works. Yeah. Understand what you're eating. Yeah. And if you don't like it, understand don't, how don't machines eat it. work. How does a car work? Yeah. Don't eat the fucking cords. Don't eat the car. Don't eat the car. Don't eat the or eat them. Fuck you. But I mean, think about how many things you have in your life. I mean, you know, we're ignorant about a lot of stuff, but people like sure. like when a car breaks, they just think it's magic and they take it to the guy to fix it, and then the guy could lie to them and stuff because they have no idea mm-hmm. at the. At, Con- like no idea how any part of the car works. Yep, it doesn't take that long to figure it out and like look at it mechanically. You know, so at least you know what you're getting into when you take right. it to the car yeah. wizard. The car, oh, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> so when he tells you that your carburetor's broke, you're like, no, you just made that word up. It's a car, so you say carburetor. What the fuck are you talking about? You think I know nothing? It's a truck. It's a truckerator. <laughs> I'm fucking stupid. You think you think I'm fucking stupid, car wizard? <laughs> Should have taken it to a truck wizard you're right. All right, let's break into this. <laughs> let's break into this uh, STD thing one more time. Oh, yeah, 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 page. yeah. Yeah, yeah. This is the woman page. Then we'll take another break after this. So, same idea. This is if you're, this is, you're, you've gone to this clinic to get an STD examination, and these are the questions they want to ask you ahead of time. But these are if you're a woman. Last one was if you're a man. All right. Wait, 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 wait. What, what, what? If the last one was a woman, then how come it said granddaughter was on the, the pirate? No, because that was a man. You're a man at the place. Oh. This is, this is woman now. I see. And these are wild. I think these are way crazier than the man one, actually. And we didn't even, I don't think we even breezed past them when we found it. Yeah, let's go. So if you're a woman, number one, number one, I suspect that my boyfriend has betrayed me. That's number one. <laughs> just 100, just right off the bat. Yeah. Number two, my husband, I suspect my husband has an affair. Classic, right? Number three, well, I suspect that my partner has been to a Vietnamese restaurant. What? <laughs> okay. Yes. <laughs> they have great bond me. Right. Like, what am I, what do we? Why? And I would like to get an STD. <laughs> Can I get a sign? I want to check if my body is infected with a Vietnamese woman. Wow. 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 I want to see if my body is infected with a V. I mean, that's really specific. That, that is, is very specific, and I don't. That's very. It's super racist too, because it's basically being like it's generalizing the fact that if your boyfriend went to a Vietnamese restaurant, there's a high chance that there's sex workers there just because it's Vietnamese. Well, and there then, is that is a thing here in Taiwan where like Vietnamese women will prey on like rich older men. Oh, yeah, it is a thing. Uh, number four, I already have enough evidence to prove. Proof that my husband doesn't love me. <laughs> but his senior and even a little two year old schoolmate. Okay. What? Cow medical examiner, please help me. I think it must be a schoolmate of two years, a two year I don't a two year old. Can't be a two year old. I don't know. No, is someone of two year two years older than him? Oh yeah, he, I'm not he's, sure. he's, sleeping with, he's sleeping with somebody that was his old schoolmate who's two years older than him. A guy, so that means they might have more STDs because two- they're two years older? They're more experienced, yeah. My husband fell in love with the Crazy. hotel and the Vietnamese store. I suspect that he did not wear a condom to make love with others, and I'd like to get an STD test. Make love with others at the Vietnamese My boyfriend store. loves to go to the nightclub. I suspect he will drunk rape, so I'd like to get an STD test. <sighs> but, like, don't date him. Yeah. Like, that doesn't seem like an option. I don't know. Like, it seems like I, I want to trick him. I want to catch him in the act, and I'll have his test to, like, prove it. Yeah, why? If, you, if you're suspecting your boyfriend is, okay, and we hold up. Is drunk raping that right there? That's what you said, right? Yeah, he said drunk rape. I suspect he will drunk rape. That he will drunk rape. If you suspect somebody is going to drunk rape, don't hang around that person, let alone fucking date them. Yeah, police is who you should be talking to. <laughs> police is who you should be talking to. <laughs> My little wolf. <laughs> Wait, what? Doesn't know where to run every day to consume physical strength. I don't feel relieved. I would like to get an STD test. That is complete I don't, I don't know. That's nonsense. I, my little wolf dog doesn't know where to run every day to consume physical strength. What does that mean? I don't feel relieved. My little, little wolf, wolf dog. dog. Is that the man? <laughs> These are amazing. Uh, my, <laughs> my little wolf dog doesn't know where to run every day to consume physical strength. I need an STD test. That's the the end drops a 
poignant thing on it that you don't because at first you could be like oh like my little wolf dog doesn't know where to run every day like i'm not taking my dog for a walk or what my little wolf dog doesn't know where to run Please every take day take a wild turn man my wolf little wolf dog doesn't take a hold so there's like you know i want i'm about to get married i don't want to be sorry for anyone it's kind of the same words as the the, the man one sure but then number 17 takes an interesting turn okay. and i can't fathom how this is a mistranslation. I have completed the secret special task, codenamed Veda. I want to apply for a sexually transmitted disease test. I have completed the dude, secret special task, codenamed Veda. Dude, my mind came to a screeching halt when you read that. I, it was like, <laughs> what, what, what? Because it seems like an accidental, they accidentally put some secret code from some agent. Yeah. Yeah, dude, this seems like we're going to like, we're going to like, someone's going to get like, Manchurian Candidate, what's that called? They're going to get they get activated, like, yeah. I get sleeper, activated, sleeper yeah. cell, yeah. <laughs> Number twenty. I'm sorry for my faith. I am guilty. I'm sorry, God. I want to confess, repent, repent, admit mistakes. Please, cow medical examiner, to save me. Oof. I mean, I want. If I want to, the thing is, I want to be listening back to these when I'm editing this, and, and, and once again, just being like, what the what? <laughs> I have an ominous premonition. I want to be safe from risk before the cat is out of the bag. I would like to ask the medical examiner to help me do the most sophisticated sexual transmitted disease test. What? The cat is out of the bag? I have an ominous premonition and I want to be safe from risk before the cat is out of the bag. I have an ominous premonition and I want to be safe before the cat is out of the bag. These could be ri- I, these could be riddles know, that unlock are, treasure. Like, I, don't know. I know, I know. They're so ridiculous. I love them. My dad already knows the situation of my friends. I also know that the body... Limbs, hair, and skin of the person are given by the parents. They should be cautious and careless, not afraid to destroy the damage. This is the beginning of the practice of filial piety. Please, cow medical examiner, help me. They, they, they like, it, I mean, that was, maybe a, I, I have suspect to believe I'm adopted. Maybe that that's, I mean, it, it's gobbledygook. It, it, it goes into like the tan, the ta- hair and the, whew. Yeah, man. Like, what? What? Um, I don't want to have no feelings every time. Like taking school <laughs> homework. I'd like an STD test. Okay. Don't want to have no feelings all the time. I can't get married in my life. I want to donate all my eggs for U.S. dollars. I uh, want an STD test. Okay. okay. All right. Those are wild, man. I think the women ones are way wild, more wild than the man ones. Yeah, I agree. Way, way, way more out there. Woo. Except right, for let's... except for pirate pirate boat or whatever. Thief boat. Thief, thief boat. boat. Yeah, I have this reason to believe my my granddaughter's on a thief boat. A thief boat. But this one, I, I've completed special secret special task, codenamed Veda. V E T A, all caps. Codename Veda. I have completed the secret special task, and yeah, now I'm com- I'm coming back to be debri- debriefed and sexually. <laughs> exactly, adjusted. that seems like that slipped through the cracks, and that was meant to be like <laughs> super down low, like that was literally a, a fucking dark agent coming back from some mission. And let's throw- uh, let's sit with these for a moment and take another break. Yeah, sit sit yeah. Oof. <laughs> brr, All right. Brr, brr. Hey, welcome back to the final part <laughs> of our 200th episode. If you've been listening this uh, this far, well, if you just, or even maybe if you're just joining us for some strange reason, I'm Sam. I'm Nate. And what we're going to do here, you know, we're just going to polish off the rest of these headlines here. We're just going to take a time. You know, we're really taking our time and, mm. and enjoying ourselves going through these headlines. And you know what, Nate? Polishing them off, yeah. I say we just clear them on out. Let's get rid of them. Let's win. Can we win? We're going to win. We're finally going to win this game. This podcast. <laughs> uh, last though, we got we got we got two drawers left, and then a very rare drawer we never dip into. Uh, What's that? Animals, products, and services very rare, rarely comes up uh, because it's it's usually. You like, think with image. all the I was gonna say yeah I was gonna say, yeah, say though with all, all the sex toys and stuff we talk about, but I guess it goes in that sex usually goes scoop. in sex scoop, but yeah, like yeah. like thi- like products and services are usually very image heavy, so. We don't open that drawer often. And yeah. also just the way – like the headline – it's not a headline. It's a description of an item. So it's usually clear what it is. Right, so you yeah. You know, so it doesn't really work for the format of the show typically. <laughs> anyway, animal drawer. That's a fan favorite. So let's that dip one, it to there. Yeah. Ew. Pet detective services grow in China as cat and dog ownership rises. Because people are eating them. People are stealing them and eating them. uh, (laughs) Maybe because they're poor, not because they're Chinese. Wait, what? Well, people steal... People are eating pets... 
Mm -hmm. but not because Chinese people eat dogs or cats, but because they're poor. True. But I would, because I would be like, let's, uh, we're we're gotta be delicate. (laughs) We can be delicate, but we also gotta be fucking honest. They eat dogs and cats in China like it's nobody's business. And Korea. And Korea. And Korea. Like it's nobody's Uh, business. There's a couple districts that do it. It's not like widespread. Yeah. 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 They have a, yeah. But it's not, I mean, compared to America where nobody eats them unless, but if you were eating them because you're super poor in America, you're doing it in secret, and you're not telling anybody. I've always said, like, because you can get, you can adopt free dogs, uh, uh, for free, free do- adopt for, dogs uh, to the pound. Yeah, and, and, and free food. Million years ago, but you could, yeah, just get them. Yeah, we take them home from the pound. I remember us talking about that on an episode where you were like, being like, you could, if you wanted to, you could just adopt, you could go to, <laughs> go to, a, a, and just adopt pets and then eat them for food. It really wants to stop you, I wonder. But I think it's because it still costs you money to adopt. If you're, you're still better off just buying regular meat. It's if they, not if, totally free. You can't just get a dog from the pound for two. I don't think so. No, like, I think you have. To, I think you're paying because usually they like if I mm, if I'm wrong, so yeah, I don't call know. Me out. I'm gonna say, but I'm saying. A lot of places, Paperwork. Like, well, they like they give them all their shots and they might spay or neuter them and give you like they basically give you yeah, like don't a, don't bother guys don't bother I'm just gonna eat it yeah but if you tell them that they're not gonna give you the dog <laughs> yeah there's no way well yeah. what's to stop you from just going to the park and just shooting a swan and eating it. <laughs> Maybe gun regulations, and because I bet like, you not, the swan's not going to see that coming. They're just chilling in the lake. Yeah, well, just because it doesn't see it coming doesn't make it right. Doesn't but, make it right, but I bet you a swan is good eating. I, I, it's probably real good eating. Well, I'm just thinking, like, I'm if you're sure it's good. It's because really, you're poor. All right, let, like, let's step back for a second because somehow we got okay, we, <laughs> we got real aggressive <laughs> and like real like well, what do you what do you want about, you, about something that's fucking ridiculous and we so, don't know anything about it. Yeah, yeah. it's a pet detective. Of service. I mean, that's really the crux here that we've glossed over. Now we start about talking about. Well, I, yeah, there's, there's free meat up no, there. No, I thought. But, yeah, yeah, I'm with you. We talked about was it last, last podcast, maybe even where I was talking about like con- seriously considering killing that aggressive goose that lived by my door right? for meat. And if he goes missing, they're gonna get the pet detective on your ass, man. But it was no pet. What? Ace Ventura. Yeah. Is that that's the only pet that that's gotta be? I mean, is that a? It's not a real job, is it? Dude, I wonder if that spawned. That's what spawned real pet detectives i guess if people like my pet went missing and i need help and then someone's like uh, police hey, don't give a shit yeah I, yeah police don't give a shit but i do i'm a pet detective Have and then see, pe- does that movie hold up i've dude i've not watched those since they probably came out so i, I couldn't tell you yeah i have no idea and i remember yeah, they were hitting this with me and you would think that i would be 100 percent on board for the but i remember at the time watching them being like this is a bit ridiculous <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I, I mean, I like uh, Jim Carrey's performance, but like everything that is packaged in is kind of ridiculous. <laughs> yeah. Now, Dumb and Dumber is a different story. I laughed so hard at that in the theater that the person that I saw it with vowed to never go to another movie with me, and they never How, did. You, you, your laughing ruined the movie experience. Uh, for yeah, because I couldn't stop laughing. Like even when nothing funny was happening, I was thinking about things that already happened and was still laughing about them. Oh, that's great. I, I would say the funniest movie I've ever seen in the theater is maybe Super Trooper. Super. Super Troopers? Super Troopers. Or yeah. Super Bad. Yeah. Super Bad was pretty funny. The first watch through, like, it's, I wouldn't say that's like a laugh a minute movie, but like, you know, I'd never seen anything like that before. Well, dude, I remember seeing uh, Walk Hard in a the theater, and that was almost oh. like, that was almost like uh, Dumb and Dumb. I, I laughed so hard. I remember us watching that again and being like, dude, this movie it's a is laugh funny. A second. <laughs> it's a laugh a minute because it's like, it's hilarious as a parody, but it, it's solid enough that you'd, you wouldn't have to get any of the parody stuff to still find it hilarious. I love no, this. Yeah. I, I had lo- a friend who thought that it was like too it was like making fun of johnny cash like you can't make fun of johnny that way i'm like all right <laughs> you can also go eat a dick <laughs> wait what are we gonna okay what? no 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 you're right yeah i was getting ready to pull this crowbars off but you got you're ahead of the Squ- game yeah square listen man i've been hosting this bit yeah this I was like, you're the, that's why you're the host baby the squirrels host the are most. severely attacking residents in queens new york severely attacking severely squirrels Severely attacked. I bet it's because they've gotten so people feed them so much they have no fear of humans anymore. So they're like, I've seen videos. Like, ah! Yeah, I've seen them like run up on people and like. 
take their fucking headphones out of their ears and shit. Just like, oh wow, just been like, you don't scare us anymore. Like you, I'm not a Disney princess about it, man. If a bird or anything jumps on me, I'm freaking out. Get it off me. I don't, I don't want it to be on me. Yeah, I'm the same way. I don't, I don't want it on me. People like let them run around on their shoulders. No, no, you're a rodent. Get out of here. When it gets, if it's some magical moment, like if you're in the woods somewhere and some little creature like comes up and it's in, oh, it, it's doubly so. But still, it's it's kind of the, but it's actually yeah. But still, yeah, I'm with you. Like I'm going to be wary. I'm like, why? What's wrong with this thing? Is it gone? Fuck it. Does it have rabies or something? Like why is it? Has it lost its mind? Like, why is it just right, coming That's up? all you need is some strange parasite or, like, it get bit by a thing. And, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. oh, I was playing fucking Disney princess and now I'm dead. Yeah. Like, like you'll see people, that they're just, like, setting somewhere. And, a, like, a seal will just, like, slowly ooch up to them and then, like, lay on their belly. Like, what's up? I'm like, that's not normal. Those are, those are also super dangerous. Seals are strong as fuck. Yeah. And these are, like, normal, like, I guess just regular girls. They're, like, the, like, a, you ever seen a fucking leopard seal? Those things are... The, they're massive. Yeah, and they're also like apex predators of their. I mean, oh, that, yeah. a, 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 apart from like uh, like orcas, maybe or something. But like, all right. <laughs> which once again, I saw a funny cartoon the other day that had a, a uh, an orca was on on trial for something, and the opposing lawyer said, "Will you state again for the court? I don't know why they're southern, but will you state again for the court exactly what type of whale you are?" And it cuts to it, and it looks all panicked, and the lawyer's like, "Objection." <laughs> <laughs> Because it would have to say killer. Yes. Yeah. World's most imp- expensive racing pigeon is worth at least $1.5 million and has its own bodyguards. Who's racing pigeons? And what's the... Is the bodyguard another animal or a human? It must be people. Like when you carry it around in case other people try to stop it. But like, oh. how do you race a bird? How do you get a bird to go from one place to another place? I guess you could train them. Oh, they've could, done that but- forever. I mean, they would carry your pigeons or a thing. But are they racing them? Like, how do you get it to know that it's got to go faster than the other birds i mean clearly there's a way we just don't know you, i mean it's got to be fo- it's got to be food it's got to be food involved we everything were, we runs were reading off. something about a giraffe racing against a person or what we were reading something about speed of animals and one of the most crucial things was the animal is that the animal must realize it's in a race yeah the animal must realize it's in a race because otherwise you yeah it's like gorillas lifting weights giraffes in a race yeah it's got it's got to realize it needs to get there as fast as fu- so uh, there's got to be just a thing of just like bird like genetics like that bird was just born and made fast as fuck and you happen to get it and it goes from this place to it. Like, you're not training. Where are you're they not- showing this? I don't see bird racing on ESPN or anything. Like, where are we seeing this? No, but you see goddamn marble racing. I remember we used to watch that shit all the time. Oh, I love that. That's weirdly engaging. It is kind of. Uh, where they race marbles. Have you seen the thing where they race cars on treadmills? It's not as fun. As- no. Oh, like, <laughs> well, like Matchbox cars? <laughs> you, you got so excited. Whoa. Hold up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like marbles. This is like better. Than, it's matchbox cars, though. Yeah, they they take like little. Uh, well, I said matchbox cars. What's am I hundred years old? Like fucking Hot Wheels. Hot Wheels. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I said it. I was the one who said it. Oh, okay, Ma- okay. Yeah, I'm hundred years old. You're a hundred years old. Somebody's a hundred years old. But they put them on the the treadmill and turn it on, and they the ones that they eventually go haywire and like you know just kind of and the ones that win are the ones that are left on the the, the track at the. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm familiar with that. That makes yeah. sense. It's not uh, to me. Okay. It's not as fun as the marble races because the marble races they have like a whole track they built which is fun and the marbles sort of feel like they have personalities in the way that they move and stuff yeah see i never got into that i remember you talking about that and i'm like they're just they're marbles man like it's it's well, fun it's fun well, to watch yeah not that they have personalities but like because of the way that the court uh, well anyway it's just marbles you're right if the, the court yeah, if, yeah because they give them a name some of like, them are faster some of them are faster yeah if and they'll give them names like the big green machine they'll be like he's here today to rally up so you, uh, they're but like what makes the marble faster you know it's just all like the, the the way that was blown and the stuff that's inside of it like it's it's all random basically yeah 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 what were we talking Which, I about mean, I, racing pigeons or something it's dumb oh, Spanish yeah. poli- oh let's go into the law let's go into the law <laughs> the Span- uh, Spanish politician temporarily suspended by Twitter after saying a man cannot get pregnant how is that? Why would they ban him? Wait, they banned him for saying that? For t- on Twitter, temporarily suspended on Twitter after saying a man cannot get pregnant. <sighs> Sam, and the the are you kidding me? Of course, <laughs> of course they would ban him for saying that because you're you're discriminating because if someone identifies if someone who's female identifies as male and then they get pregnant, they can get pregnant. That's you- why. But Twitter's that, t- Twitter's having those fights. Oh yeah. Well, I know that people on Twitter are, but Twitter is defending that. I guess. I mean, apparently. Because I, I guess I understand that idea. Sure. But I don't understand yeah. why you would, like, how does that threaten your 
platform by not like you just can't let people because it's gotten to a point where it, it, it's gotten to that point where it's like uh. if you don't stand up for that then by not by not identifying it in some way or like if or, or like acknowledging it then you somehow agree with it or approve it so you've got it <laughs> i you, thought it would be more chuckle fucky than it was but yeah i guess it, i see it's it. not chuckle fucky at all no <laughs> it's yeah i see the <laughs> the writing in the sand <laughs> yeah it's just, let's just let that one lie there. <laughs> Teen gets jail time. Oh, no, we've done that one. For being too romantic with rented girlfriend. Yeah, we did that one already. Oh. Man who stabbed father over fear tartar sauce was spiked, found not guilty of attempted murder. Man who stabbed father <laughs> over fear tartar sauce was spiked, found not guilty of attempted murder. So was that it spiked? It, he had the fear that it was. Yeah, but it, so it must have been what it must. There must there had to be some legitimacy to his fear for him to not be charged. Yeah, to not be guilty. That's true. Mm-hmm. So he was f- afraid that it might be spiked. So then he stabbed his dad. I mean, who? What? What is going on in that household that you yeah, have? have that, and that's not grounds to believe. Yep, yeah, and that's exactly that's not day one shit. This isn't the first time that's happened. You've been like, God, you know, I've had it. Like, if you spike the sauce again, if you try to kill me one more time, Dad, I would. I, if I, <laughs> it's spiked with what poison or alcohol drugs? Like, what's yeah, it spiked with? Exactly, they don't tell. So it's spiked, just spiked. Exactly. Be real vague. Man, your stepfather over, over fear tartar sauce. Yeah. Uh, you know, know what it's going to be. We've been, dude, this is, what, we, what? we've been in the sauce too long. It's going to be, he's going to just have some sort of mental issue and be like, he was diagnosed with schizophrenia, tried to stab his dad. And so stab he, him. yeah, so he, he's not, he, he doesn't stab him or he does, or he stabs him, but the dad's like, oh no, it's fine. Like he, sometimes he wigs out and <laughs> try, wigs Let's out. Let's do it right. Let's, I'm playing the card right away. Let's do it. Right. Wigs out. Why the fuck did I say wigged out? I've not said wigged out since like 1992. Well, the way that, I don't understand why, yeah, I, I, <laughs> Sometimes say it. The 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 headline on the website kind of confirms what you're saying without even reading the article. Uh, S A man, sorry, a South American man, maybe Broden Slater, incredible name, found not guilty of attempting <laughs> to murder father after delusion about spiked tartar sauce. So I'm uh, already thinking you're right. Yeah. Oh, South Australian man. No, oh, I was thought, uh, I would have thought South African. Okay. Broden, but Broden Slater sounds more like an Australian name. Broden Slater. Broden Slater. That's a that is a great uh, name. Attempted murder by his father by reason of mental incompetence. Mm-hmm. He stabbed his father twice in the back in the driveway of a neighbor's house. Uh, ordeal lasts about a minute, but it's very frightening. The injuries were very severe. Slater's father bled profusely and required surgery to remove part of the knife from his back. He oh, broke the knife off in him. You told police you had accidentally stabbed your father because your voices were spinning out, and you went on to say, though, you thought your father had spiked your tartar sauce with a bone or fishing line and made you sick during the day. You said this made the voices angry. Uh, he battled drugs and mental health. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, yeah. That yeah. was 100. Yeah, you're right. I could see it, man. I could I live in the sauce. All, all you see is, was that blonde, brunette, redhead? The the Matrix thing? I know what you're saying, man. Uh All right. Well, we got two products and services, and then we're going to get on out of here for this special <laughs> 200th episode. 200th episode. We did this. Hope you like our laughter in the two hours. I mean, there's no reason this couldn't have just been four episodes, but fuck you guys. The Minnesota business uh, selling clean. <laughs> Min- Minnesota business selling self-cleaning underwear. Mm. Maybe Min- it's like silver threads. Minnesota business. The the way that they're so fucking vague on some of the, I love it because it's it's not saying it's an underwear company or a guard. It's just like I mean this could be a fucking cheesesteak shop for all we know, right? Right, selling self cleaning underwear cleans itself. Yeah, I'm like, yeah, yeah. I think it's it's got to be sewn in with silver threads. Silver threads. You know, you could buy you could buy like camping clothes, like survival gear, mm-hmm. and you don't need to wash it. It won't your bo won't stick to the fabric. Like it won't smell like bo. Yeah, and also get, it keeps werewolves away. Yeah, if they try to bite you, like ah, <laughs> you got me again with your. If they bite <laughs> you in the ass, silver clothes. It must be cost prohibitive because I was just thinking, why doesn't all clothes have silver thread? In? Yeah, they're probably they're probably forty bucks for a pair of underwear. Yeah, I feel like. Though, like, I don't, I don't have BO too bad, but like, you know, I can't wear a t-shirt more than one day. I imagine if I had the silver thread stuff, I might be able to. Yeah. Do you know, like, the chemical that makes BO, like the thing that the the bacteria eat mm-hmm. that produces the smell of BO, is more prevalent in our Caucasian uh, DNA. We produce it more than Asian people. Huh. So, like, Chinese people, like Oryeshin, for example, my girlfriend, she doesn't. There's just she doesn't produce BO. Uh huh. Or it's not not to the same equipment. Like you know, I'm sitting here sweating, mine in the goof grease mines. I'm I'm, I'm smelly. I've got a bo, you know. Mm-hmm. And for most Asian people, they just don't quite yeah. produce it the same way. Not not all Asian people, but specifically like Chinese, Korean, Japanese. 
Yeah, it's just a different, just a different thing. And it's the same DNA that's responsible for like wet earwax. Is your wet earwax wet or dry? Uh, I guess it. I mean, I, like, is it like dry skin? Is it like flaky dry skin, or is it like a goop? I mean, I guess it's like a goop. I mean, I don't, I don't know. Every time when I I'm go in and clean it out, it just comes out like waxy. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So then, yeah. So that's the same thing. So like, for example, <laughs> Asian people's earwax is more like dry skin. It's just like flaky, dusty. Stuff. Huh. Different strokes, huh? Yeah, it's just, you never would have thought of that. <laughs> I mean, because, like, you know, we've all been, like, because think about, like, how many times you've been on the bus or been out in, like, a public store in America and you smell someone who fucking reeks. Yeah. And I'm not to say that you don't smell that ever here, but I, very, not as nowhere near as often as I did in sure. America. Yeah. And, and I've, I've had weird, have you ever had some weird, like, because usually, like, I keep pretty deodorantized up. And like I said, I don't know what it's like in the States now, but they got deodorant here that's on level with fucking toothpaste and razor technology like it's like this will keep you dry for set that you won't smell for 72 hours when you put this on I'm oh like, sure right. like jesus christ all right and it does it work it works and like you put it on it's like fucking hell but i mean when you take a shower but like i remember putting deodorant on at some point and then like the next morning or something or like the next day whenever it was i took a shower and it was like repelling the water like i couldn't properly oh, yeah. wash under my arms because it was like repelling the soap it gets all in my my shirts my shirts all my white shirts have like gray pants it's now because of that shit. Oh, yeah. I always get the kind that's made for black clothes. Fascinating. Yeah. <laughs> two deodorant boys. Well, I mean, that's all the headlines I have, man. And that's going to bring us right to the end of this fucking... This is the longest episode we've done in years. It's, it's, it's a bit. we got like 40, what, what a little over two it's, hours. It's got to be two hours, probably yeah. a little bit. I don't I mean, who, who knows after we edit it down, but... Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I want to thank you guys for sticking with us all these years. Yeah. 200 episodes. 200. Yeah, I guess I want to thank the, uh, Kishibashi for letting us use his song, Intro slash Pathos Pathos, <laughs> on the album 151A. Yep. Thank you guys for listening to us. Thank you, Nathan. Thank you for for doing the, the, the grease mines, sitting here... Clearing out the drawers to me. I mean, I've been threatening to do it for months now. Yeah, and, th- and thank thank you, Sam, for digging in there and being the the host with the hostess <laughs> with the mostest. Digging digging through all them greasy. Dig, oh, dig. Oh. The thing is, we've gotten much better at. We used to have to, maybe we'd edit them out more, but like we used to, there would be headlines that like to run anything. We got better at knowing what might get us to talk about. You know. Yeah, yeah, and even then, we'll, we'll sometimes we'll just like run into something like, oh, all right. Yeah, it's true. But also, we can, we also know what that's like. You said you read that. And you're like, oh, I bet you he's crazy. It's, but yeah, like you can, you can kind of you can kind of like, but not at first. Like it took a second. Like you no, read it, and no. I'm like, you're like, what the hell? And then your brain goes, think think back, think back on all the <laughs> think all, all the, the bullshit dude, we've uncovered. Dude, think about this, dude. Two hundred episodes, almost what? How many fucking years of I mean, doing thousands this? Thousands of headlines. It's got to be a couple of thousands. Thousands of headlines that we've read. I mean, at least one thousand. At, at least one thousand. Some some might say one thousand. Some might even say. And yeah, if you, each you, one's you, a half an hour. Yeah, and you have you have to you have to get. Well, I don't know, but like we, we shorten it down there for a bit because when we first started doing it, we were doing like we hour would stick long. to about an hour. Yeah, we yeah. would do we would st- do about an hour, and then it came down to like about forty five minutes, and then now today we do 30 40 minutes because it's because it's like we were talking about it's like there's no reason to fucking drag it on which is exactly what i'm doing right now <laughs> <laughs> well guys yeah uh that's that's gonna do it for us this week so good, yeah good night goodbye thanks for everybody wear your mask wash your hands <laughs> yeah thanks thanks everybody good night dad good, goodbye the ring dinger fuck